welcome to Ronnie Fowler Stadium and good evening to the Ball Game Blitz TV show produced by Worthy Road Studios on the Jackson Christian High School face page. I'm Coach Joe Holloway, your announcer for this afternoon. But most of the time, David Wade, you know Dave, he will be the regular color announcer. And uh, we've got a special guest. I didn't see that Paul had given me all the information. The important thing is, once upon a time, he wore the light blue. Not at this school, but another school. But his kids have gone here. His sister, who was also a great athlete, has children here. And his older brother has children that have played here before. And his dad is the councilman himself. <laughs> I have Shane Sisko, one of the great human beings of all time. He is a great American. He'll be filling in for Dave Wade, who will be at the North Point game. There another ball game blitz game is being broadcast tonight at Peabody Golden Tide at South Gibson, and that one ought to be a slobber knocker. Other teams that we are covering this year are USJ and TCA, and those games are broadcast on the high school's Facebook page. All of our ball game blitz games are archived to Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel, and I suggest you use it because those of you that listen to me on radio know that I played the clip of the 4.4 second field goal over at USJ a couple of years ago. We love that yes. call. I wonder who the announcer was. We Again, I'm Coach Joe Holloway, and I will be doing the play-by-play -play for Jackson Christian football this year for the Ball Game Blitz Show on Jackson Christian's Facebook page. Our director tonight is Ashley Janda. Stephanie Janda is our replay operator and producer. Our cameras tonight are the one and only, the venerable Scott Tinker and Brady Larkins. Our executive producer for all of our schools and all of our other sports, such as boxing, we do it all. Soccer, we can do mumbly peg and other stuff. We do church services, we can do weddings, funerals, beauty pageants, we do it all, is the one and only, the man that writes the checks to, Paul Schultz, he's here with us tonight. All of our Ball Game Blitz TV broadcasts are available to be watched in high definition. Yes, even when we're on the road and use the jet packs, they can be seen in high definition on the YouTube channel. And, and I'm going to tell you what, it is a live broadcast. Shane, it's been a while since you've had a mic on. It sure has. It's been back in the... Maybe back in the Little League days, maybe last time I had a mic on. But we had, well, we had a state tournament down that's here. That's right. We did 11-12 state tournament. It was fun. So, no, I'm glad to be on with you tonight. Can't fill the shoes of the great Dave Wade, but I'm uh, going to do the best I can with you. So Well, we're glad to have David here. And don't let Shane fool you. This young man knows a lot of football. He knows these kids inside and out. He works with them every day. His son was here a couple of years ago and was my broadcast partner for baseball. Right. What a duo we had there. And in this county, for sure, I know about Will Cisco is the best soccer play-by-play -play guy there is. <laughs> he sure is. Steve Beverly and I will not challenge That's him. Right. Dave McCulley won't challenge him. None of the guys will challenge him. He is the best soccer announcer there he is. I did color for him, and sometimes I just sit back <laughs> amazed. He knew the players so well for both teams. He knew what he was doing. And, of course, Shane does have one playing tonight. He is the kicker. And, Shane, you know a little bit more about it. Are we going? Even though we're going to play a half, we're not going to rush the punters. And Correct. The Special teams okay. are not rushing tonight. They're just going to kick in place, and uh, they're not doing that to start a season because that's where a lot of injuries happen, Coach. You know that. So that's probably a good idea not to do that in a jamboree because – Things can go wrong, so they're going to start that next week at our first game. So, And that's a, a good thing. We're going to check our time here. I can tell you this tonight. We're going to have a Palmer attack. Yes, our head coach's name is Darby Palmer. We'll tell you a little more about him. But the head coach of the Old Bine County Central Rebels, no, folks, it is not crazy Ralph Turner, the basketball coach up there. People remember Ralph, and that's that's a nickname that some of us gave him that knew him. Uh, but it's Justin Palmer. So the Palmer boys, wow. I don't think they're any kin to each other. No, though. I don't think they are either. And uh, then there's also an assistant coach for Obine County Central, Wade Palmer. Huh. So a lot of Palmers here. And uh, uh, the referees would say we'll have to call a palming violation <laughs> on the Palmers. But we're going to – talk about that when we come back we'll get Shane's insights into this contest we will list some of the others around I don't know if you'll hear them directly but the officials tonight are mar mic'd up I start to say they're marked up and it does look like somebody took a black magic marker and put stripes on their shirts <laughs> which they're supposed to have but well, what we're going to do on hey, Coach, Road, you want to yeah. give them the text line real oh quick? yeah we need to so, get the we have a text line people Something special tonight, you can text us and, and ask questions or comments or whatever. 
The number is 731-437-6377. That's 731-437-6377. Excited about that, so send us yeah. a text. And we know it'll take a little bit of time to, to get that going, but if Coach Palmer's parents aren't some of them that – text us because they listen unless they're here tonight. I hadn't had the chance to talk to him. But here's what we're going to do. Worthy Road Studios wants you to hear from some of the finest people alive out there. People that without them, you cannot have these broadcasts. And it's not just the people you see when we shoot our shots of the corners and things like that. But these broadcasts, and I use every one of them. I'm not telling fibs or anything and this is the great american sports pregame show absolutely right here they are great americans now here's what we're going to do we're going to take a time out on worthy road studio broadcast of the jamboree here at jackson christian school let's take that time out Looking for a new and exciting career? At Jackson State Community College, we offer nationally recognized, top-rated programs designed to greenlight your career for success. With courses available in the health sciences, nursing, computer technology, and much more, your next step towards a career starts here at Jackson State. Learn how Jackson State Community College can greenlight your future at greenlightyourfuture.com. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Serving the Jackson area for over 20 years. Carlock Automotive. Van Drive, Jackson. Serving the Jackson area for over 20 years. Carlock Automotive. Van Drive, Jackson. And we are back. We are here on the Great American Sports pregame show. They'll also be bringing you the post-game show. And as we ask you for, please support our advertisers who help make Worthy Road Studios TV show ball game blitz broadcast the high quality they are. Without these advertisements, there would be no crews to bring you these games. And let me tell you, there wouldn't be any cameras. These are high-def cameras. TV stations don't have cameras any better than the ones that we are using. And, of course, tonight, Shane will be talking about these. He's got the monitor. The replay sponsor tonight is Mitchell's Body Shop, who is a great supporter of Jackson Christian School anyway, just like all our other folks are. And we will also remind you about a couple of other things. One is very important to some of you folks out there that like to tinker with electronics and do things like that. And I would hope that there's nobody listening that would violate this. This is something that we got from the FCC and all that. It says, any rebroadcast, retransmission, editing, or further use of the Ball Game Blitz TV show without the expressed written consent of Worthy Road Studios is strictly prohibited. Now, somebody is going to text me on my phone. And don't text me on my phone. Those of you that have it, again, Shane, give those numbers again because we've got a great text line. Darby Palmer's parents, I want to hear from you all on that text line tonight. 731-437-6377. Again, that's 731-437-6377. Absolutely. And 
We are not employees of the school. We are Worthy Road Studios employees. But the announcers have been approved. Shane's more approved than I am by the school also, <laughs> though. And uh, I can tell you right now, Jets and the Eagles in the NFL, six to nothing. But we didn't come here to talk NFL football. Get rid of that stuff. I guarantee you that. There are other jamborees going on tonight, Shane. I know that uh, this one is a big focus one. We've got O'Bian with Jackson Christian in the first game. We've also got Humboldt. Sideline. Oh, yes. We haven't mentioned our sideline camera. We've got uh, in the second game Humboldt and Westview. Two state champions are here tonight. Oh, that's right. We are the only school in Madison County that has won a state championship. Jackson Christian and the defending state championship in their classification goes to Martin Westview, Ty Simpson. You see a beautiful shot by our crew. You see the Dynamics logo up there. You see the blacksmith. Go see my friend Ian Insulaco there. Jones Chevrolet is there. Thompson and Smith Insurance Agency. Roger Smith loves all our schools, folks. I guarantee you he does, and he's a good guy. But we're going to have a sideline camera. We're going to have replays, and as the season goes along, you you can't wait for David Wade's insights on those replays. No doubt. And David will even be drawing a few circles and squiggly lines. I'm excited this by year. that. I'm excited by that. That's going to be awesome to and see Dave do that. No, and Dave knows the game so well because the officiating and the rules and everything else is just a, better than anybody else. Yeah, each school has their own niche as far as what they can do with replay. But we are the only ones that when Brother Dave wants to draw that squiggle line or circle a block exactly. or something. Brother Dave, enough for you Jacksonians. I had a text earlier today. Is Dave Gardner going to be with you? used to have a comedian from Jackson, Dave Gardner. I don't know him. And Brother Dave is what he was called. But Brother Dave is not with us tonight. He is one of the great Americans. He's also a fireman. We've already heard on my phone from Bud Young wishing us luck and sending us the Padre star Fernando Tatis Jr. suspended for 80 games using performance-enhancing wow. drugs. My, my. And I know one of our announcers probably passed out, not at this game, but uh, he is it back in studio tonight. Our good friend Seabass, when he heard that, he's a Padres fan. Why? I don't know. I did not know that about Seabass. Oh, yes. He eats, sleep, and breathes Padres. He's really? Di he's dying with them right now because they haven't been playing too well, even after get, getting, the, what, the most expensive human in baseball <laughs> over there, uh, I Soto. I no clue that about Seabass. But, again, high school football, and we will be going and – Picking up after we get – well, I'm glad we got our first text, but it came on the wrong line, and that's okay. It's going to take a few games, Coach, but it'll get, it'll get going. Now, the first time you're going to see us on the stream and possibly even pick us up on TV like Apple and all that will be the game with uh, – looks like uh, ours with St. George's on 826. That is here, and uh, we, uh, we need to get after those rascals from St. George's. Let's talk about a few of the Jackson Christian kids uh, right now. The, uh, where do you start? Do you really want to start with the seniors or the first one that was on mine uh, that's in my notes is a young man who's caused a lot of notoriety. Yeah. What do you know about Jalen Mosley? Uh, Jalen, you know, is coming in his sophomore year, had a good freshman year. He's got a couple offers, I think, from Ole Miss and uh, Liberty and uh, and Memphis. The good, right. the good so, school, University good of Memphis. School, yeah. University of Memphis here in West Tennessee. So, we're, we're expecting big things out of him and looking forward to seeing him play. And, you know, he's going to, you know, uh, probably get double teamed a little bit this year. So he's going to have to deal with that. But I think he can and looking forward to that. And also you will be able to hear Jalen on Tuesday night. Not every Tuesday night. Yeah. There will be a Tuesday night. He'll be down there at the greatest little coaches show and sports show, really it is, Jackson Christian has. And we're waiting for Brian Bullard to give us the official name. Now we have another great American, the man with the Most stat definitely. hands. Cool hand stats is what One he is. One of my is. favorite guys. Greg Armour is here. Well, oh, okay. That, that's okay. Well, but, it's a different night tonight. So. But guess what? We're going to have Greg comes on at halftime, and if uh, post-game show isn't too short, sometimes they start turning the lights at us on the road. Now, now, <laughs> you told me you've been here, what, how many years? Uh, this is 35. 35 years. 35 years. Doing stats for Jackson Christian. What, what great guy, Man, I great got teeth dedication. that aren't that old in my so. head. <laughs> that, that, that made great. No, we love Greg to death, and he knows that. Another young man you'll hear about, you say, gosh, Coach, we hadn't heard that much about him in the past. The gentleman, six foot six, and uh, the one and only, he's a junior, though. Yeah, da Daniel Green, yeah, he was selected on the Jackson Suns uh, players to watch this year, and he's going to be playing tight end, and 
he's received interest from Vanderbilt and Austin P. So, yeah, seeing what he can do this year, too. See, I, told you, I told you, Shane Good, in that second game, Casey Curry, the senior up at Humboldt, you'll hear about him. This one, they have a young man named Johnny Light. He's 6'3 and 215. And I'm going to tell you what he rushed for, 1,139 wow. yards and 11 touchdowns. And he is something to watch in this contest. But we also answer with Brother Cam Boyd. Yeah, Cam Boyd, senior year, you know, expecting big things from him. He uh, rushed uh, 1,328 yards, 6.6 yards for carry, and 21 touchdowns last year. So we're looking forward to him. I know he's excited. I talked to him this afternoon. He's super excited about this season. So. And in the second game, you'll see Cam Davis. He's a Westview junior. We'll tell you more about him. You'll also see Miles Vincent from Westview in the second game. Now we're going to, and you'll see Stephen or Stephen Shivers from Humboldt in that game. We've got a quarterback we'll tell you about a little later. He's a young man by the name of Gage Boykin. And we've got some wideouts that have really improved over the year. And it's a shame you won't get to see our kicker. Let's do this. We need to take one more time out here from some of our fine sponsors in the Great American Sports pregame show. Let's take that time out. This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. He shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. Oh. And lucky for him, they made it look good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. At McCoy's Heating and Air, we realize there are more than enough things to worry about on a day-to-day -day basis. With our new 10-year all-inclusive package, your home comfort doesn't have to be one of them. For one low monthly payment, you can purchase a brand new York unit with full maintenance and repair coverage for 10 years with approved credit. No hassle, no stress, just complete coverage for your comfort and convenience. Contact McCoy's Heating and Air at 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com to schedule your free new AC estimate today. Championship DNA. That's what you find at Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. A full line of new Chevrolets plus West Tennessee's largest used car inventory. State of the art service work and pre approved auto loans online at JonesChevroletHumboldt.com. Shop with a winner. Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. If you work outside or in a facility with no AC, or you're just struggling with this year's heat wave, it can really take a toll on your body and health. At Live Hydration Drip Spa, we can help you recover with our Beat the Heat special for only $59. Call or visit us online today to set your appointment. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. The most important benefit when you buy from Jones Chevrolet at Three Way, peace of mind. Jones Chevrolet's warranty forever comes with every qualifying new and pre-owned vehicle. Powertrain coverage for as long as you own your vehicle. Find out more at Jones Chevrolet in Three Way. And we are back here and welcome back to Ronnie Fowler Stadium for this broadcast of the Ball Game Blitz TV show produced by Worthy Road Studios on Jackson Christian's Facebook page. Coach Joe Holloway and Shane Sisko tonight, David Wade will be with us. Reminds you that we are doing some training tonight uh, with our young people because they want to do the best job. We're going to have replays, and whether we have too many or too few, uh, be thankful we got replays, and I guarantee you our replay operator is going to be a dandy. We'll have scoreboard shots. Matter of fact, our scoreboard sponsor is Thompson & Smith Insurance Agency very quickly. And then Shane's got some information that after tonight, you'll know more about it. We got the word out a little late. I'm going to take the blame for that because I didn't get Shane the number till today. But some of the great people that help bring you this, Aloha Pools, Southeastern Termite and Pest Control, Elite Dental, McCoy's Heating and Air, Hub City Deli, Live Hydration and Spa, Lifetime Blood Services, Kaufman's Furniture, Arrington Funeral Directors, Bank of Jackson, King Jewelers, 
Lonnie Cobb Ford, Nest Realty, and Lifestyle Vision. And, yes, if the Kaufman's name sounds familiar, the old gym's name, and yep. it's still a good gym, it's Kaufman Gymnasium. Absolutely. Paul Kaufman is who it's really named for. It is, it is. And our text line, if you want to text us, it's 731-437-6377. Again, that's 731 731- Four three seven six three seven seven. Go ahead and shoot us a text and a comment or whatever you want tonight. And we'll try to talk about some of the rule changes and some of the things like that. That's right. Please do not text on my phone. We've already had one text that's or two now. Bud text us, and we're glad to hear from Bud. But please use the text line. Get used to using that. Write that number down. Put it in your phone. Jackson Christian will open next Friday night at North Point Christian, actually over in Mississippi. Yep, Even Mississippi. though they're playing in the TWSAA. I don't understand that. Oh, I've been given the explanation, but I don't agree with it. <laughs> but anyway, we'll go down there. We had a blowout with them last year. We didn't blow them out. They didn't blow us out. There was over 100 points scored in that it's football crazy. game. crazy. Yeah. It, it really was crazy. And Patterson, their quarterback, is back just like our man, Gage Boykin. We'll give his stats a little bit. He's back. We go to – well, St. George's actually has to come here on the 26th. Right. And we go to Columbia Academy on Labor Day weekend. But we'll be still bringing you that – on Friday of September the 9th, Evangelical Christian, followed by on the 16th, Harding Academy. The 22nd, we go across town to USJ. That's a Thursday night game, people. Remember that. Tune into this station. Don't listen to the other guys. The other guys may be part of us. Don't listen yes, to them. exactly. Uh, Jackson Christian loyal. We are Jackson Christian. And uh, for those of you listening, O'Brien, I will call it straight, but we do have to promote our team a little bit. Tipton Rosemark comes after USJ, First Assembly Christian, TCA, and then Fayette Academy. James, your turn to take the mic and say a few things about the team and what we've got going. And there's more to Jackson Christian School than just football and sports. Absolutely. Now, this team came off a 9-3 and three season last year, and we're looking forward to seeing we got, you know, a quarterback, Gage. He was a quarterback last year coming back. And like I said, we talked about Jalen Mosley, and we talked about Cam. And uh, so we – Got some players this year that uh, hope we step up. Our line has changed a little bit this year, so we're going to get to see how our offensive line performs. Looking forward to that. And uh, I think uh, I think we're going to have a good season. I'm happy. I, I think we're going to have some good. I think it's going to be um, competitive at, at all levels, I think, this year. And we will talk about different ones, but three young men come to mind that we're missing. Uh, one is Tacker Nash. He right. signed a scholarship. He'll be playing over at Rhodes, Rhodes. College. There is a chance he may not in those early games. He'll get playing time, but he may even get to start before the season's over for Rhodes. That's awesome. He's that good of uh, now long snapping, and now working out at wide receiver is the one and only Walker Ray. And uh, I'm even encouraging him. He's a good enough baseball player. He can play. He signed at Bethel. And, of course, Chance King uh, was the other inside linebacker. We'll That's miss right. him. But, and, again, we'll talk about some young men like Cooper Cantrell. You know, boy, he could cow trump you when he got a head of steam up. And we're going to miss some of those young men. But as sad as it is to see them go, time moves on. They have to get their college degrees. And they learned to be functioning members of society right here <laughs> at Jackson Christian School where we have discipline. We learn. We don't play. We learn. And uh, I tell you what, it's good. We'll tell you what we're going to do. If we're, Shane, I'm going to let you run over the starting lineup with, uh, we've got our offense in D, but we do not have O'Bines, and we apologize. Their coach was kind enough to send us a very nice roster, though. Yeah, so for Jackson Christian, for offense, our starting quarterback tonight is uh, Gage Boykin, starting at running back, uh, Cam Boyd. Um, starting at tight end, Daniel Green. Uh, left tackle is Aiden Childress. Um, left guard is Dalton Deloach. Our center is uh, Eli Gay. Um, our right guard is Chilton Smith. Our right tackle is Joey Carr. And then our receivers this evening are Austin Kelly. Um, he's a sophomore. Then Cooper Banky and Jalen Mosley, which are Jalen's a uh, sophomore as well. And then Co Cooper Banky is a uh, senior. So that's our offense. Go, go ahead and give our defense, although it looks like – well, they're going to run the kickoff. I, yeah, guess, so I guess it'll do up at Peabody. Would, Remember, we have different rules in there. Wherever he catches it or if it's deep, they'll bring it out to at least the 20-yard line. Yes. and you, you know the kicker down there? I, I might know the kicker. Uh, the kicker is Zach Sisko, and uh, we'll see what he can do. Hopefully he can punch it in the end zone. He's been working hard to try to do that this season, and 
and I, I hope uh, he, he can be able to kick it deep this year. Absolutely. Who we got that's going to play defense when we come out? Uh, Chilton Smith, uh, then Cedric Anderson, Joey Carr, Caleb Newson, Wyatt Jones, Eli Craig, Daniel Green, and then, of course, the free safety, Jalen Mosley, strong safely break, Blake Rowland, and then Jack Collins and Trent Carrier. So those are your uh, starting defense for tonight. And the people move up the blockers, five men on the front. We'll pick up everybody as we get them checked in for Obine County Central. And the well, kickoff. That was not was, a good kick. No, but it's effective. It squibs long, fumbled, and it picked up. Remember, we're not running them back, but picking it up was Hamilton May, who uh, wears number 13. He is an 11th grade player. Now, again, they've got uh, they've got a very good football team here. Keep an eye on number 28, Johnny Light, and he is a 1,000-yard rusher. This will be a good test for the Jackson Christian defense. O'Bine will run out of a spread-type formation. They can run a pistol or shotgun version, depending on what terminology. And, Shane, they can also go under center on occasion, too. It looks like they're going to use their pistol version. Three wide outs to the left, one single receiver to the right. And there's the handoff. They're going to try Light, who's a big guy, and he gets good yardage on first down. And yeah, White Jones got the tackle there, but, yeah, he got good yardage on that run for sure. And also for Jackson Christian, is that Brooks Goff wearing number 34? He looked like he got in on a little of that. Yeah, he did too as well. And we'll have replays in just a moment. We're working on getting those lined up for you. We They shift, we shift, and uh, they bring number 12, who's a wide out. There's a slot right, single receiver to the left. you got to tight end on this one. Again, they try light, hitting the backfield, bounces off one man, and now it looks like a host of tacklers. Shane may have picked up somebody that had the impetus on that. I, I couldn't pick up anybody, but it was a bunch, a bunch of guys were there quick, which is good. Yeah, the guys wearing the blue shirts are Jackson Christian. O'Bion County Central wearing the white uniforms and moving from left to right. I know Wyatt Jones was one of them. Uh, he was in there. Wyatt was most of They moved him to inside linebacker, haven't they? Correct. And 85 is Daniel Green, who also be playing some linebacker. Now they are sending their wide out, number 12, Hanks, to the far side, right in front of the O'Bion bench. Slot with a tight end. Again, they're going to try light. He slipped. I think we would have – well, it would have been close because coming up to play a little defense was number 55, Eli Craig. Yeah, Eli Craig was right there, and he did slip, but I think we would have had him stopped anyway. So. so that makes it fourth down. Now, in some of these jamborees this year I've seen, there are some people that are going for it, and it looks, looks like, they, like are. they are going for it on fourth and one because, to be honest with you folks, even though we light up the scoreboard, it, this really doesn't matter whether you win or lose. So, let's see. Slot left, tight end to the right. They give to Light. He's hitting the backfield. Will uh, he make it? Yes, he got it. Well, Barely. But we've got the, they the signal fish on first that down. side. Yeah, he was just a little bit over there. But got it right across the line there. So, it's first down. It took him four plays. Now, here's the Mitchell's body shot replay, Shane. Man, Wyatt was right there, and he just kind of just went on top of Wyatt there, but he was right there. Yeah. Light had good second effort, didn't he? Yes, he did. Okay, we're bringing number 20 towards us for O'Bine. He is their wide out. That's Drake Hamilton. They're going to try Light again. They're going to run him heavy till we prove we can stop oh, yeah. him, and he's going to rip off Another first close down. to nine and a half yards. Yeah, he's right there short. And uh, let's see if we've got a replay on that one. You can see the hole that opened up on the right side. Yeah, he came right through that hole. and uh, We missed a tackle yeah, right Dan in the yeah, hole. We, we should have had him right there and uh, got around Daniel Green there. But that's that's okay. We got another. Well, it, was, well, it was first down. Uh, they so said he stretched it I out. I thought he got was a little short there. I thought he might have been a couple inches short. But Hanks comes to this side. We'll check who the slot is. There's a wing back to the left with the tight end. And uh, they fake it, keep it on the RPO run pass option. And they'll get about four, and with the spin, maybe five yards. Depends on the placement of the football. Yeah, Eli Craig was there to stop him when he came through there, so good stop by Eli. And 
Oh, yeah, that's a quarterback. I didn't realize the quarterback kept that. Yeah. So, quarterback kept it, and Eli was right there to stop it. Bryson Underwood, and he's a good one. He's good at running. That looks like a version of the RPO where it's a run-pass option only. They were just making the read that time. There was not going to be any pass of it. Hanks is, again, coming to the right here. They send a man in motion. That's light handling the football on second yeah, down. He'll yeah, get a couple of tough yards. Yeah. And they're a gang tackle by the Jackson Christian School team. Light is strong young man, though. It looked like Cedric Anderson got big on that one, too. I don't know if we have a replay there, but it looked like Cedric yeah. was right there when he came through. Now, Let's Hamilton see. May running the quarterback oh, yeah. spot that, that was time. Big Cedric there, yep. He came right over and, and blocked that hole for us. They're using two quarterbacks. Seven is Bryson Underwood, who's in the slot this time. Hamilton May at quarterback. Wing left, going against three down linemen, a stand-up defensive end, and he's just going to keep it. May tries to get outside, breaks one tackle, a lot of arm tackling, and I know Coach Darby Palmer can't be happy about that. Nice pickup. It'll be fourth and one again, and did, or did he get it? I, th I think it's short. Yeah, it looks short to me, Coach. He comes around the outside there, and, and uh -oh, it looks like did somebody play drop the handkerchief. Oh, it looks like they did. The dreaded yellow hanky on the field. Is that a hold? This one's going to back them up, and that is the hold signal. Yep. But it's always generally a hold when it's in a run like that, I guess. So They've got the mics on the officials' crew tonight. They're not our mics. I want to defend Worthy Road Studios, and I didn't hear the call. I didn't either. Ball backed up, and now this – this will make it a uh, third down and about 18. Uh, the scoreboard is, so says 16, and they're probably right. No, it's a little more than 16. Yeah, it looks more than 16 to uh, me. Let's compromise and say 17. This would, cab ride will only cost you $5 on Uber <laughs> now. It used to be 250 but <laughs> it, Inflation, everything's going up now. Slot right, wide out to the other side, slot over there. First going pass across the, the field. Good play there, timed right, incomplete pass. The uh, ball intended for, and oh, not Andrew Potts, that's on our team. I know Andrew. That's intended for Drake Hamilton. Yeah, it's good, good pass there, and Jalen was just right there, the right spot to, to knock it down. So That looked like Tanner Richmond there, and we may get it. Let's see if we get a replay on that one. It'll be a punting situation. They won't return it. And you know there's only one man back, and we rarely have two back there. It is Jalen Mosley. Now, folks, you need to watch him return punts. Tonight you can't. There will be no rush of the punter. This one, a low driving kick goes out of bounds. What do you think, 37, Looks, 38? Yeah, 37, about, about where I saw it go out of bounds at. So. Now, you need Larry Lewis to explain this. They triangulate this, and they walk, and they say it went out before. They, and they've got a better okay. angle from where we are. So it's going to be on our own we'll 41. We'll take it. Yeah, we'll be glad to take it. Absolutely. We don't turn anything <laughs> down. No doubt. Be watching for the big tight end, Daniel Green. He wears 85. But the, it reminds me of a guy you'll have to look up named Dick Bass. Great runner, 1,000 yards a couple of times with the Rams a long time ago. Uh, Cam Boyd is not the biggest guy in the world, but he's stronger than he looks. Yes, most definitely. Gage Boykin in the backfield. There's the little two-handed pitch to Mosley. Got a blocker. Nice block by Boyd. Here's Mosley. He'll cut back against the grain. A host of O'Brien people will be there. I see 23 on there yeah, for them. Uh, Alex uh, folks, but yep. there's more than Alex there. I think Alex made the first contact there, and Jalen just takes us on the outside, and Cam gets a good block there for him. And, and then, like I said, he breaks a couple tackles. And, and yeah, number 20 uh, – yeah, number 26 – uh, maybe made that tackle there. Don't forget about Jackson State Community College. They also are a corner logo sponsor, Dynamics Physical Therapy. Jones Chevrolet, Blacksmith Restaurant. Here's a man in motion. Strength to the wide side. Give to Boyd. Boyd cuts it up the middle. The little man is running. He's across the 30 down to the 25-yard line and another Jackson Christian first down. Just ran that ball right the middle there. Wished we were keeping stats tonight, but we've got two different ball games and uh, – 
Shane is doing it. Here's your replay. Shane, that's Here. a good one. Yeah, that is. And it uh, looks like, yep, number six, uh, Noah Parker made the tackle there. and uh, But that was a good game, good first down. Absolutely. Good momentum going here. Time for a pass, little tempo right? tempo offense. Here's Gage Borg in the two-handed shovel pass out to Boyd. Boyd's got an opening nice block on the outside. Uh, Boyd breaks a tackle, heads for the end zone. Touchdown. What do you have? Give him six. Cam Boyd. Great run by Cam there. Uh, having the vision that he had to run through the line there and get that first down. I mean, get that touchdown. Yeah, I think he went, went 25 yards. Yeah, there's another good block there. Yep. Boyd did that at him. the 623 mark in the first quarter. Now, the holder is – they don't have it on it. It's supposed it's to be Austin, Austin Kelly. Austin Kelly is the holder, yeah. and Wyatt Jones is the long snapper here. Yeah, and you know what they got on here, long snapper Austin Kelly. But here's the kick. It's up. Now, Zach was kind. He could have kicked that one over the back fence that yes. you see there. Well, that was a bad bad snap there, but we'll work on that. So. And with the score, Jackson Christian 7, O'Bine Central nothing. Let's take a time out here on Worthy Road Studios football broadcast. It's time for the fourth annual Lifeline Car Giveaway. And Joe Mayhen Ford is proud to donate a car again this year. Give blood with Lifeline between Memorial Day and Labor Day for a chance to win a 2019 Ford EcoSport. Join Lifeline. And Joe Mayhen Ford and give blood this summer. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. And we are back. We are working with it, and uh, we'll get our, all our commercial commitments in. Nice touchdown run. Anything you want to say about that drive? We took it uh, basically, what? Uh, We're at the 40, so we took yeah. it 60 yards. Yeah, 60-yard drive. Run every maybe time. Maybe 59, depending on where you want to say. Here's the kickoff, the second one. This one, nice end over end. Headed back to about the four. There's where it's picked up, and let's see where the official spot. I think the 20. 20. Yep. That's usually what they did. I've been at a few games this year that they moved it to the 25. Not sure why, but that's – you know what? You get to make your own rules in these things. Absolutely. And uh, we're here at beautiful Ronnie Fowler Stadium on the campus of Jackson Christian. School just getting started good. And uh, let's see what else we've got. We've got all kinds of stuff here to get out. Now, let's see what we've got. Tight, tight end, no tight end this time. Trips left, one receiver, single receiver. And they throw a quick screen, and uh, they got enough of the block to spring the receiver. And that was uh, – Yeah, Trent Carrier pushed him out of bounds, and I was trying to get the number on the guy who called – Drake Hamilton, Drake who Hamilton, called it. Yep. Yep, missed a tackle right there, and then uh, – Trent was able to push him out of bounds there, and looks like they got a, what, about eight yards on that. Yeah, almost nine. And what they'll do is second and one. They're on the O'Bine side hash mark, wide side of the field to the right of the formation. And they'll bring Hamilton over here along with Alex Folks. Folks, a senior. Yeah, they're going to give it the light. You knew they would. We hit him in the backfield, and I see our big man. Yeah, He's not the Sander only Anderson, one. Yes. And Wyatt as well. So had Cedric Anderson, Man Mountain Link himself. And you don't move Cedric very far. And if he gets no, in you your don't. backfield, Cedric's a load. He's a fine young man too, very studious gentleman. Oh, yeah, they ran right into Cedric. So, yeah, Cedric, big Cedric got him blocked there and, and made a good tackle there. Brings up. They said he got enough, though, for the first oh, down. Oh, really? Wow. Maybe it was forward progress, but Cedric pushed him back his first and ten for O'Brien. Here's the pass. It's intercepted. Daniel, oh, this is Jack, Jack Collins. Collins. Jack Collins could yep. go all the way. Yep. Touchdown, Jack Collins in Jackson Christian School. So it's now 13 nothing with 5.41 to go in the first quarter. INT, bud, that was nice. Good coverage, though, by the up man. If you Absolutely. get a replay, we need to give that up man. He had to overthrow that one. 
Here comes the replay for you. Yep, just a little overthrown to uh, Drake Hamilton and uh, Jack Collins there being alert and getting the interception there and getting a pick six. Boy, Jack looked like he was stealing a base in baseball. <laughs> now, Jack plays baseball for us also. Yes, he does. Fine outfielder. Zach Sisko on for his second extra point attempt. Now, Wyatt Jones is doing the snapper. Remember, we lost a guy. What was it? Walker snapped about th at least three of the four yeah. years he was in yeah, see, it, At least, uh, I think, maybe two for sure. And here it is. The uh, we, You're right. we got to work on it. But there it goes. Almost out of the stadium. And it is 14 to nothing. With the score, 14 to nothing. Let's take a timeout on the Worthy Road Studios Jackson Christian Broadcast. This is how we Friday night. How do you Friday night? This is how we Friday night. This is how we Friday night. This is how we Friday night. No matter how you Friday night, you always win at Kaufman. For anyone contemplating pre-planning, we can tell you from our experience, it's much easier to make funeral plans and record them now than wait until emotions are running at their highest. With pre-planning, you can free your mind and heart from having to make big decisions during a time of grief and instead enjoy the freedom to focus on the memories of a life well lived. We are back here. We're going to give you a quick replay as they kick off. I hope we don't miss it, but let's see that replay. Watch the coverage on the receiver, and then Jack Collins will pick it off and take it to the house. There it is right there. Yeah. Looked like Wyatt Jones had yeah. uh, drifted back in there in coverage. Yeah, it looked like he did. And we'll come back, and here he is, Zach Sisko, the golden foot, end over end, headed towards the six-yard line. That's where he picks it up, and – it gives you a chance to receive the kicks and works the kicker and the kick receivers out and get a little coverage. And there he is. I love him to death. He takes up a lot of space, blocks out the sun. 71 is coming out on the field again. Cedric Anderson, and I believe he was one of the people to mention at 330 pounds. Oh, yes. He's a big boy, and I, I wouldn't want to run into him for uh -huh. sure. No, so. that's – he could hurt you. Kyle Christensen out there sometime. Let's check and see. Yes, 75 Kyle Christensen is out there. Kyle's not a small gentleman either. No, he's not. And then, of course, next week y'all have, have all those weights and heights for sure. That will yep. help out a little bit. Here's O'Bine on the attack with Tripp's right, a single receiver to the left. The sprinting is the quarterback. He looks, he looks, he throws. He's got a receiver. It bobbled it but caught it. Nice hands by Hamilton, Drake Hamilton, the senior. Uh, and that was a good catch because there was a lot of pressure. And it might bring up second down, Shane. Yeah, absolutely. That was a good throw and catch there, and, and Hamilton got bobbled a little bit, but he had his hands on it, and uh, we were able to get the tackle there pretty quick, but good catch by Drake. Both teams with three first downs, and we'll see that Jack Collins is going to go and single cover number 23, Alex Folks. He's not going to get any safety help. Now, we've got a different safety in there right now. That looks like Elijah DeMoss, who is listed as an athlete, man in motion. Could be the jet sweep. Oh, it's fumble. fumbled, and they're going to fall on it. And that was supposed to be the jet sweep with Bryson Underwood carrying it. He's a ninth-grade wide receiver. can even play a little quarterback to run it. Looks like he's a good runner. Yeah, just a little miscommunication there, I guess, and he didn't get his hands on the ball Well, that's there. a good size offensive line by uh, O'Bine. Uh, Michael Screen, 78 to 295. He's not a small gentleman. Not at all. And now what they're going to talk about, it looks like it's third and nine, a definite passing situation. But I'm going to be honest with you, you got Johnny Light in the backfield. And I'm sure they'll limit his carries tonight because the first official contest next week. And I think they're going to come over to the sideline and talk to the people with the down markers. Great yeah, shot. I, I, like I like people. the new down marker we have this year with the digital one this year. Isn't that neat? Yes. Does it run on batteries? It, it must. Uh, yes, it has to be charged. Oh, no, they don't forget to charge it. And it runs out in the Ooh, game. <laughs> Some of those cold nights, so, you know, that pulls heavy on yeah, stuff absolutely. like that. Folks, coming to this side, he should be a single receiver, or will they have a tight end? We'll check it and see. Tight end is to this side. He's a flanker off the line. They run uh, the running back. Light's not in there, but I'm going to tell you what, it's going to be a first down. Oh, yeah. Nice carry by number 33. And that is Tucker, Tucker Moore. Moore.
Tucker Moore, the ninth grade. They got some quickness in this ninth grade group. The fourth first down, Shane. Yeah, and absolutely. And we had a missed tackle on the backfield, and then he, was, he had some good blocks, and then he got that first down there. So I think we got caught run. asleep. I think that we were looking for a pass play. I think we were, too. Yeah. Which is typical in that situation, but they put it on the ground and got the first down. Connor Hanks coming to this side along with Bryson Underwood. And again, they've got Tucker in the backfield. Now you've got an H back, strength of the formation to the right. One deep secondary for us, and this time good pursuit. Got in there with the angles, and it looked like making tackle. I've got Caleb Newsom. Yep, that's who I got as well, making that note. And I believe Caleb plays the dog linebacker for us, and yeah, his job is to sick them. Yeah, let's see who got that tackle here. Quarterback keeper. And I didn't get the number still. Now, Caleb was the first to no, hit him, and then there was Hunter a second Walter. man that hit him. Hunter Walter is the one he uh, second yeah. hitting second. Caleb fell back in there. He kept, and you got to stay on that outside arm of the blocker, and then you can come inside. Now, watch some of your older backs bouncing it outside like that. We'll see that when we see ECS and St. George's trips left, second and twelve, maybe second and thirteen. They send a man in motion. They fake the jet sweep, and uh, he was hit by the yep. dog linebacker. And the helmet comes off. Somebody will have to come out of the game for okay. Jackson Christian. Yeah, that's Caleb Newsom's helmet. That yeah. can't, you know, and he hit the first one to hit there too. So made the now first. Was that Chilton Smith, who's also a person of interest to watch, wearing number seventy? Was one of those. Well, that's a great replay right there. Look yeah, at the absolutely. helmet roll. So he had to set out a play, but he'll be back in next play. But that he got the first initial contact. Absolutely. Now, it's strange seeing 58 line up inside <laughs> because that was Tacker Nash's number, yes. and he played linebacker, played about seven yards off the line of scrimmage. Mosley in at safety, and we've got a two-deep safety, so they've changed. This may be covered four. No, it's covered two. Here we go. Quarterback cranks the javelin up. Got people in the Another. way. Mosley picks it off. He's going to get good yardage, and he fumbles the ball, and O'Bain will get it back right. on the fumble. Recovering yep. it is number 54 for them. That is Nolan Gray, their 10th grade guard, I believe, or offensive lineman is how they got him listed. So here's the replay, and you can see it all happen. Yeah, he's passed it there. Just didn't really – I don't know. Just The pass just kind of lofted on him a little bit there, and then Jalen was right there to get it, and then – just the ball just came out of his hands. He's kind of went up a little bit. So, I, all that, they gained one yard and got a first down. They do start <laughs> over again at first down. Now, that one won't count if you were keeping stats as an official first down because there was a change of possession. Yes. Uh, Mosley that time uh, ran the ball. There was a young man. It looked like 33, kind of jabbed his arm. Jalen did not have a good group no. a grip on it. He was carrying it like a loaf of bread then. Here's the handoff to the short side of their formation. Maybe a tough – Two yards. We'll see where the spot is with 33, Tucker Moore, who is 165 pounds, but he's quicker than a hiccup. Yeah, and then number 53 for us, Hunter Walter, have had a tackle there. You That's know what? A couple the, times we've got yeah. tackles. They're going either unbalanced or end over and some things like that, and trying to get us caught in a slide and find a hole. See, there's now this is normal right here. And they're going to give pass. the quick toss. Yep. There's two blockers. Whoa. But I'm going to tell you what, that one was red, and I'll let Jaylen. Shane tell you about the read on that one by Mosley. Yeah, we get the replay up here, man. Jalen was sitting there waiting in at the line, and he gave a heck of a hit there. Well, that may have been the city of Miami train coming through there wearing number 23. Here's the replay from Mitchell's on it. And, and, well, Bry and Bryson going back took live. a hit there, but he did hang on to the football. He did give the young man credit. Brings up third and almost ten. We'll call it officially ten. The ball's on the 31-yard line. we got 40 seconds left. Now, this is interesting. If that's 14 in there at the slot, that is Jaitlin Mosley. Against okay. <laughs> Jalen Mosley, that's who's matched up that behind is. him deep. we got a linebacker up close. Here's the quarterback dropping Pass. back under pressure, overthrows, almost. and almost picked off. Nice diving effort there by the defensive back. And that is number 22. I thought it was. That is Trent Carrier. And Trent, another one of those fine defensive players. Absolutely. Should bring up fourth down. Looks like they're fixing to bring the punt team out here. O'Bine has moved the football at times, but not sustained anything. Light. 
the fine thousand yard rusher not in. Now we're we're still learning about because we lost some people it's usually on the punt reception team. Mosley directing traffic. Good job by him. You'll see number one, Elijah DeMoss, and he'll be responsible for deep passes. This one's going to be a line drive kick. Mosley gets away from it wisely, and he'll go receive it and pick it up for the referees. I always do things like it. The little niceties <laughs> people count. And uh, that brings on, He's it's been a long time since he's been on the field, but it should bring on Chase Boykin and, and company. I said Chase. <laughs> Boy, he'll love that. Uh, this will bring on Gage Boykin. His dad, Grant, probably ready to shoot me right now. Grant, a pretty good athlete in his own right. Hey, uh, Boykin, of course, um, got us into the second round of the double-A or division two single-A. 58% of his passes, nine touchdowns, four interceptions. He's lost some weight, gained a step of quickness. It will come straight from the sideline to the football, usually on first down. Boykin wears 12. Boyd wears three. Mosley will be in the slot right now, and he can run the jet sweep, and we got some pitch plays for him. They've got uh, trips left. There's Mosley. They throw the breakout, though, catching the football. Looked like Cooper, Cooper Banky. Banky. Yep, that Cooper. was Cooper Banky. Boy, Cooper, that. remember when he came on last year, what was the second or third game over in Memphis, he really came on with some fine yes, catches. absolutely. That's and at the end of one quarter of play, it is Jackson Christian 14, Obine County Central nothing. Let's take a timeout right here on Worthy Road Studios football broadcast of Jackson Christian. We realize you have a busy lifestyle. And at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online, we make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. At Nest Realty Jackson, connections and relationships are at the heart of everything we do. We wake up every day with the goal of helping our agents build trust, relationships, and community. Let's connect. Back here at Ronnie Fowler Stadium, Shane Sisko, Coach Joe Holloway, David Wade will be back with us next week for the opening of the season. An exciting contest, Shane. We were up 14 to nothing, but a big INT really pushed that score out there. Absolutely. And Jack Collins had an INT there to run it back uh, for pick six. I love pick six. I love my friends. Use the other line. Uh, we'll tell you about that in a minute. They kept, What's an INT? It's interception. <laughs> Banky has – motion but got set here's Boyd he's got the angle he yes, gets he away does. from one man reaching breaks another tackle almost he does run through that one and if it wasn't for 11 it would have depended on one of the safeties finishing him off Landon Crawford came up from his linebacker I think you got a Mitchell's replay yeah absolutely Cam man had a good opening there and around the about side of the line and good cut up the field and man that was a great run and yeah number 12 uh the Connor Hanks, I guess, uh, made the first contact. Shane, you can't arm tackle that young man, but it's coming back because we played drop the handkerchief on that one. So a great run nullified by the penalty. And we didn't see the – now that time I think they finally got it. They just don't have the sound where we can hear it. For yeah, we the, can't hear it inside here. Well, that's okay. It's, it actually is marked off from the spot of the foul. And it was deep enough it took it back to where it's second and 11, where the foul was. So we actually lose a down on that one. The yardage would have counted had we been keeping stats. One man in the backfield. Here's a man in motion. They're going to throw crossing action here, and it's not a little overthrown. We had the receiver, led him a little bit, and that's Banky. I don't know whether, uh, but nice action. And uh, see the guys looking at the sideline. Plays are signaled in by our offensive coordinator. And it'll be third and a long 11. So if we want to keep possession. 
Probably a passing play here. This is one time that a dad doesn't want to see his come his field come on the or his son come on the field. <laughs> That's right. Um, <laughs> not, not in this position. Hopefully that'll no, get a first doesn't down want here. his son here because that means they're punting in this position. Absolutely. Banky's going to go left. I see Mosley over there, and I hear whistles blowing. I'll see start. Austin Kelly running a little wide out. Yeah, he's playing wide receiver this starting at that. But he could easily move back into It's like the, a timeout maybe. Yeah, it looks like they're going to have a timeout. Maybe it wasn't a play. They stopped the play. So with third down, they take a timeout. We're going to take a timeout here on Worthy Road Studios production of Jackson Christian Football. Lifestyle Vision, located at Thompson Farms, offers patient-centered, comprehensive eye exams. Select your new look with our latest styles from exclusive brands. Come see us Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, or schedule an appointment anytime online. Lifestyle Vision, where compassion meets commitment. Looking for a new and exciting career? At Jackson State Community College, we offer nationally recognized, top-rated programs designed to greenlight your career for success. With courses available in the health sciences, nursing, computer technology, and much more, your next step. Back for, for third down here. Nice. Yes. Got it. Jalen Mosley right down the right sideline. You can't draw it up any better than that. No, absolutely. absolutely. And that was a nice throw by Gage Boy. That was a good throw and catch by Jalen. So, good first down. Gets across the 50 onto the, what, 30, uh, 35 yard line. So, that's a great play there. Just our fourth first down. I tried to get in on Mike three or four, and that doesn't work. <laughs> that's not good. Here we go, first and 10 from our own 35-yard, or their 35-yard line. The handoff to Boyd. Boyd dances, makes one miss, gets outside, headed towards the goal line, and is knocked out of bounds by number 12. And that is Connor Hanks. Connor Hanks, a busy man for them. Absolutely, and then that was a good run by, another good run by Cam tonight, and uh, his vision of cuts that he's making tonight is what we want to see this season. Cardinals leading the Brewers two to nothing. Here's snap to Boykin. Boykin's toss out there. Oh, we got running room. One man, he's going to spin him out of bounds. A nice spinning tackle by Jaitlin Mosley. But I'm going to tell you what now. You got to give you got to give credit right there to that was Banky, wasn't it? Yeah, Banky caught that ball. Cooper yes, Banky. Yeah. That was first and goal from the six. That should be our fifth first down. O'Bion County Central has four. The referee winds the clock. 24 seconds left on it, so we got plenty of time. Signal, play signal in. Boykin announces to his lineman. See the tight end, 85 green, loaded with receivers here to the right. Boyd is shading the right in the backfield. They're going to send Wyatt Jones, who last year was the H-back. He does assume the H-back position. Here's Boyd dancing up in there. The big men have hold of him. He's got some yardage, but short yardage this time, Shane. Yeah, short yardage. Uh, the hole closed quick, and I'm trying to get a number here. Number 78 for O'Bine, which is Michael Michael Screen. And so he had a good stop there, good tackle there. So uh, just the hose closed quick on him. Second goal, a one-yard gain. The ball is on the five. Say the soccer markings. We play some of our soccer games here. We are unbalanced to the right. Strength, we're sprinting right. Looking, looking in the end zone. Touchdown. Good. Touchdown belongs to Jalen and Mosley and the Jackson Christian Eagles. Here's a replay. Yeah, Gage uh, knew he was throwing it to the whole time, and he waited for Jalen to get open there, and Jalen got open, and a good easy touchdown pass for uh, Gage to, to Jalen. Third touchdown. Mosley with the reception. Of course, Boykin on the pass. We're in the second quarter. Zach Sisko on with Austin Kelly to hold at the 9.53 mark. Kick is up. 
I don't have to say anything, but the referees should stick their hands up. They do it a little slowly, and it's good. And with the score, 21 to nothing here in the second quarter of this Jamboree contest, let's take a timeout on Worthy Road Studios production of Jackson Christian Football. Looking for a new and exciting career? At Jackson State Community College, we offer nationally recognized, top-rated programs designed to greenlight your career for success. With courses available in the health sciences, nursing, computer technology, and much more, your next step towards a career starts here at Jackson State. Learn how Jackson State Community College can greenlight your future at greenlightyourfuture.com. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. After that five-yard touchdown catch, the Jackson Christian Eagles lead 21 to nothing over. And this is a good old Bine team, but I know what old Bine's doing. They they use their good runner light early. They've tried some other young men out. And here's Cisco's kick, high end over end kick coming down. This time right at the 10, and they'll bring it out to the 20, and that's where Obine County Central will first start first and 10. They have four first downs in the contest. Jackson Christian has five. Jane, anything you've seen? or And I think you had a couple of things you wanted to uh, tell the folks. Holt, number 21, and, and Presley Emerson, number 66. Um, both of those had s injuries that uh, ended their season, but they're out there on the sidelines, uh, you know, pumping the team up and doing those things. So both of them would be on the, would be on the field right now if they hadn't had their injuries. So and, and I just want to give a shout out The worst thing is two fine young men. Presley's a senior. And Carson, though, has got to get well for baseball. Yes. He is a fine baseball player. He could probably play again, but he's going to focus on baseball because of the injuries he had. So, Jackson Christian on defense. Shane will tell you about who some of the people are here in a minute. But Obine County Central has the football. And this time they got one running back. Looks like Light is back in there. And the referees have held the time. Oh, the clock struck zero on the the clock, I start to say shot clock. We're not doing basketball yet. <laughs> basketball comes up a little later. And it'll be a five-yard penalty on Obine County Central. And uh, some great people up there. Want to give a shout-out to their boys basketball coach, Ralph Turner, uh, who is a very good friend. Used to be Don Meyer's assistant. Was head coach at Union at one time. Here's the handoff, Light, a very fine runner. And you know they'd run him a whole lot. He gets a little bit of that yardage back. I thought we did a good job stringing that one out, Shane. Yeah, and Brooks golf for us. His helmet came off, so he'll have to come off a play. But we had several uh, eagles uh, on the tackle for that play. Absolutely. They bring it back in from the sideline, place the ball down. 38 seconds still on the play clock. Well, that was a that was a loss for a couple of yards, wasn't it? I thought he gained. No, yardage. that's right. That's, that's right. No, they had the penalty. That's right. Yeah, he gained yardage, gained a couple of tough yes. ones. Second and 13, here's a pass play. Flushing the quarterback out, sprints left, got a receiver wide open at about the 28, running across there. He's brought down, but uh, you don't like to see, even in his own defense, you don't like to see a hole that big. Absolutely, and Connor Hanks with the receiver there that caught that ball and, and got gained a few extra yards after the play there. See on the replay there, and, and who made the tackle for us there? Um, Number 70 for us, uh, Chilton Smith. Glad to have Shane Cisco in here with us. David Wade will be back. And um, I'll have to slide your way because I'm sitting in a different spot because of the way the replay monitor and uh, a little trouble seeing there. I mean, you know, third and two, bending it back. Good runner, good yep, body lean that. is light. He is a great runner. I like that kid. Johnny Light, 6'3", 215. Had a good hole there and ran right through and got the first down. That was a good run by Light. Fifth first down. They came back from that five-yard penalty. And uh, they bring the youngster back in there after they get Light a couple of carries. You don't want to get him hurt. Tucker Moore, 33, checking back in for them. 
Folks is coming this way in the formation. Quarterback right now is Tanner Richmond. Tanner's the ninth grade quarterback. He's 5'9", 140. Three receivers to the right. It's first and ten. They send a man in motion. The ball. And the ball is still on the ground. And let's see who looks. I don't know if he even got Did he? Hiked. He must have moved it a little bit, and it might have hit him in his posterior. Now, there's your good word for the day, <laughs> posterior. See the replay there. Yeah. Uh, now, in the old days, you ran uh, a play, the fumble ruski play that way, uh, where you sit it down on the ground, had a guard. Well, you cannot do that anymore. Would pull out. Get, that was not intentional, folks. Those no. have, that's why you do these things is to work out the problems. Get all the, the bugs problems. out. Second and ten, ball on the 34-yard line. Three receivers to the right. Folks by himself. Protection, the quarterback steps up. He could have run. We th they throw it. Oh. It's up in the air. Will he get it? Did he get it off the turf? No, they saying no. Let's look at the replay. One on official that. doesn't say anything. The other official. Let's see the replay. See if he got his hands under it. That's the catch to it. I know it got knocked in the air on the pass here. here. I don't know. I think he got his hands underneath. It looked like he did to me. It looked close. It looked close. We have the benefit of the replay. They do not. Oh, yeah, that's a play. But what great camera work there for us able to see that. Don't forget, you can text us if you think it was a, a catch or an interception. Let us know at 731-42. I'm sorry, 437. I'm used to saying that. 6377. We'll give you that number again. Here's the throw. At that time, well, they'll call it incidental contact, but a lot of banging going on at about the 45-yard line or 44. Yeah, the price, the pass was attended for Bryson Underwood there, and I believe it was kind of thrown behind him here. We'll see on the replay here. But I believe the ball was through behind him as well. Yep. Yeah, kind of thrown behind him. Punting situation coming up. Thompson and Smith Insurance help bring you this contest. So does Jackson State Community College. You see their corner logo. Here's the snap to May. May's punt up in the air. And I tell you what, I've seen him field them like that in a real game, and it makes me nervous <laughs> when Jalen <Yes. laughs> does that. <laughs> me too. Anyway, it'll belong to the Eagles of Jackson Christian School. And remind you, this broadcast brought to you by Jackson State Community College, Mitchell's Body Shop, Great American Sports, Jones Chevrolet, Blacksmith Restaurant, Thompson & Smith Insurance, Aloha Pools, Southeastern Termite and Pest Control, Elite Dental, McCoy's Heating and Air, Hub City Deli, Alive Hydration and Spa, Lifeline Blood Services, Kaufman's Furniture, Arrington Funeral Directors, Bank of Jackson, King Jewelers, Lonnie Cobb, Ford, Nest Realty, and Lifestyle Vision. Let's check our quarterback. They're going to leave Gage out here a little longer. I have a feeling Austin Kelly will get one series. Yeah, Thought we had false movement. Start. Yeah, yep, we did. That was that was one you can't hide. That one. Nope, not at all. Trying to get out and get an advantage there, and nobody feels worse than the man that committed the foul there. And again, that's why we do these games where they yep. can get ready. Don't where we don't do it next week. See Bryson Underwood playing safety. He and number eight, Jamar Hopper, or Jameer Hopper. Hope we get those names right. Didn't get a chance to get the coaches give us pronunciations. Sprinting right, Gage Boykin looking, looking, wants to throw deep. Throwing off his back foot, it hangs up in the air. It's going to be a jump ball. And this time it looks like Obion County Central's number 23 is going to win the jump ball. That's folks. And Let's see here. Did. See if Daniel Green came down with that or not. They'll turn the holding penalty down. There's a holding penalty up here, but it's on us, I think. Well, they're bringing it back. Wow. Maybe it's not. I don't know. The ball don't look like it ever hit the ground, but they look like – I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't tell by that This replay. is interesting. Now, wait a minute. I thought you'd get a choice on the interception. Well, they caught it incomplete. Oh, did they? I yes, thought they, they did caught it, it, but I thought it was I, joint possession. I thought he, I thought he had I, – I, I never saw it hit the ground there, so I think it looked like possibly an interception. Well, that's why we got the replay, and that's why we have color men, because I actually don't watch the monitor. I try to see it on the field. So the penalty actually saves 
Jackson Christian School an interception, but I'm sure the coaching staff will talk to Gage about throwing off his back foot. He's strong. And this will be first and a mile. Well, I'm going to tell you what, this is not a $2 cab ride. Milk Cannabin, <laughs> this is a oh, $10 milk. cab ride. Um, get your binoculars out to see the other end. I got this some. is over 30 yards. Yeah, first and 30. Uh, the scoreboard says 30. I'm saying 31 or 2. Here's Jalen Mosley. He'll always get you a little yardage. They close him in, force him out of bounds on the pitch sweep left. Mosley runs like it's smooth, like the pendulum on a clock and <laughs> stuff, and then all of a sudden, boom, he can accelerate. Watch him in motion. He sure does. Good little toss and got on the outside there. Got some good blocks, and Cam had a good block there too as well. And picked up, I don't know how many yards he picked up. Let's see, he picked up, what, well, eight or nine? Yeah, good coaching point here for you. You young people out there carry the ball over on that sideline in the outside hand. If they hit him, it would go out of bounds. That was good carry for him. Brings up second and 22 or 23, depending on what you want to call it. The ball's on the 23. Collins and we'll pick up the other receiver to the left. Here's the toss. It's going to be too high. Wanted to hit Austin no, Kelly. Austin Kelly, number 11. I'm, I'm just not used to looking at Austin out there. Uh, I know that we've got some other fine receivers that – Young man that took it to the house. He's coming out of the ball game. Blake Rowland. Blake had a couple of great catches in some earlier scrimmage games and had a good camp down at the University of Alabama, and so did Lance, too. Yes, they did. We had several kids go to several camps this year. I think Jalen went to a couple, and I know Gage has been working on his quarterbacking skills. Third in a long 22 or 23, depending on how you want to look at it. And I love these sideline cam. Get those close up. Isn't that great? Yes. Worthy Road Studios brings you the best in camera work. Scott Tinker, I know, is one of our people down there. Yeah, he's on, on the sideline on our side there. Flushed out of the pocket, 72%. And there we go again with – and uh, it was out of bounds all the way. And uh, Gage, I think, was throwing that one away. And yeah, there's a new rule. Away. You know you can throw it away yes. uh, as long as you're sprinting out and stuff and not get called for intentional grounding. This one – well, there he goes. Well, I think he's he outside. had a receiver he, in well, the area anyway. He had a receiver, but yes, he's also Jack outside the edge of the pocket, yes. too. Jack Collins was there. No, Austin Kelly, I guess it was. That looked like good pressure by 72, pay, uh, Gammons. I think it was 72. It may not have been. Now, punt. O'Brien County sends two back. Looks like 14. Jaitlin Mosley. They have a Mosley. We have a Mosley. And I'm not sure. I cannot see the number on the other young man right at the 50. There's a little bit of rush, and Zach wisely holds it up, kicks it way over the head. It came down about the 27-yard line. Nice punt, Shane. Yeah, that was a nice punt. Uh, yeah, I know they weren't pressuring, so he knew he could take his time there, yeah. but he probably <laughs> needs to work on that a little bit too. Went ahead and kicked a little bit quicker, but that was a good punt by Zach. Absolutely. C-76, Tristan Nash, the young fellow coming on. Now, let me tell you something about Tristan. He is just a ninth grader. Says he's 6'1 and 200 pounds. Yeah, I bet he's over the 200 pounds because <laughs> uh, his mama cooks pretty good too. And that's Bill Hamilton's daughter is his mom. Nathan Nash, one of the legend running backs and linebackers here at Jackson Christian, his dad. Nathan coaches on the uh, elementary school team. And uh, Jack Collins is going to take the young wide receiver, Connor Hanks. And Hanks is a good receiver, though, out there. So that's a good matchup. That, is that – Blake out there playing defense, too. Yes. Nice run, though, over the left side of the line. A nice run by number 28, Johnny Light. Let's see the replay here. Yeah, got, had a good uh, hole there in the line. It looks like uh, who's that number 18 for Jackson Christian. Uh, Gavin Walker had the tackle there. Blake Rowland, the strong safety, matched up with – Underwood dropping back to throw. Here's the pass. Nice pass. He got right in the seams of the zone, and there was a hole there. And catching that pass was, was Alex, Alex Folks. Folks, yeah, the yeah. senior. And that one, I think you got a replay coming yeah, absolutely. up. Absolutely. That was he took his time, found his receiver, found Alex, and good catch by him. And he got a, two or three more yards after the catch there. Tanner Richmond, uh, 
comes off the field. He was playing quarterback then. Let's see who's in now. They've gone back to Hamilton May, who also doubles as a running back. Ball at the 49 of Jackson Christian. Snap a little low, and we've got a man in the backfield, and I'm going to tell you what. He says, let me introduce myself. My name is Hunter Waldrop. Yep, he got right in the backfield, and that play never had a chance. And you had to think he was going to run it there, too. That one was blown up early. Of course, the coaches of both teams and O'Bine's coaches will look at what happened on the blocking. See Light back in there, and let's see who will quarterback this time because they have run three different people in the quarterbacking position, and Hamilton May will stay there and operate the ball club, it looks like. They snap to him, give straight to Light. There's a hole you could drive a Mack truck through, and Light gets good yardage before he's brought down in our secondary. Yeah, that was a good hole. I may have been able to run through that hole, but that was a good row, yeah. hole there for Johnny Light, and he picked up a – uh, a few yards there. Potts and Goff both on the tackle. Then Brooks Goff and Johnny Potts. Now, Johnny plays uh, f uh, baseball, too. Oh, he does. I did not know that. Yeah. Uh, wears number 20. I forgot what he wears in baseball. It's actually Andrew Potts. And if I said yes. it, my fault. Oh, yeah, he does play baseball. Uh, You're right. He's yes, a very good base. That. Pitched a couple of games, played some second base. It's third and about six. Scoreboard agrees with him. Ball on the 45-yard line of Jackson Christian. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. Backfield. Hand off. Good yardage there. And I'm going to tell you what, I like this young running back, and he's got a first down, I believe, if they spot the ball properly. Yeah, he, he, he drug some tacklers there and then got that first down, most definitely. Left side of their line, I know one of the lead blockers was a young man named Michael Screen, six foot 295 and a senior in uh, he made something happen. Yeah, Eli Craig was there, and he kind of got to stop, but he still got a couple more yards after that. I see 72 out there. That's Gammons again. He's 250 pounds, a good-sized young man, pretty quick. And let's see who's in the backfield this time. Ten is back in, that being Tanner Richmond, the ninth grader. He throws the football well. Two receivers to the left here. They send a man in motion. To the right, there's the pitch to him. He's got blockers in front, cuts it back, good cut back. This time we hold our position and made a nice tackle, Shane. We sure did, and Hamilton uh, had another good little run there, but uh, we were able to make the stop. Potts and Nash on the tackle. Tristan Nash, is that his first tackle of his varsity career, even though it's a scrimmage game? Watch him come in yep. on the cutback. Yep. He's, Potts he's in on the last yep. of it, and then 53 is also there. Uh, Hunter Walter, but Hunter's been playing all over the field. Yeah, he's been all over the field. Uh, that's yeah. a name, a new name we're calling this year, and and uh, he's been all over the field tonight. Got a slot right. There is an H back in the backfield, and they're going to run the big man light. Light could cow tromp us and take it all the way. We've got to tackle and oh, give Jack Christian Collins got hit there for getting low, and that happens sometimes. But Jack Collins, if he doesn't get down there around the knees. Uh, Johnny Light was fixing to take that one to the house. Another yeah, we, first down for O'Bine. Yeah, we should have had it in the backfield there, but, uh, yeah, we got it. Jack Collins was able to get it stopped there and keep it from being a touchdown. First and goal on the 10, so they cannot get a first down. Light still in there because they want to put something on the board. Here's Light again trying that left side. They've really worked our right side over in their left side of their line. And the uh, – Little, little, what I call rooster fighting between one O'Bine and one Jackson. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Bull. Seth Joyner coming into the ball game for Jackson Christian. So we got second down on the five. Now I hope I haven't missed Lucas Witherspoon 52 being in there because. Lucas and Tristan, yeah, 52's yeah, Luke, in there. In Lucas there. is in there. Those two young men created havoc in middle school last year. They sure did, and we're looking big things from them as freshmen this year. Oh, reverse. And their ball, this time a five-yarder. It will be a touchdown. Five yards on the run. That was number 20, Drake Hamilton, the senior, making that touchdown. That came at the 103 mark. Oh, in the they had a great quarter. block over here. May have, may have a little hoe, but it had a great block. But Drake Hamilton with that touchdown, they'll.
kick the extra point. Now, let's see, is 99 the kicker? Yes, he is. Hey, Hector Corona, he's a senior. Bet he's a soccer player. He probably is. And, of course, Zach for our team plays soccer, too. The snap a little high, he gets it up, and it looks good. He's got a good leg, too. He does got a good leg. So, there, so. with the score, 21 for Jackson Christian, 7 for Bind County Central. Let's take a time out on the Worthy Road Studios football broadcast. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports make sports an addiction. Serving the Jackson area for over 20 years. Carlock Automotive, Van Drive, Jackson. Serving the Jackson area for over 20 years. Carlock Automotive, Van Drive, Jackson. We are back on one. I love that. We got good people in this box. Shane Cisco with me tonight. A uh, nice drive by O'Bion County Central. And, uh, of course, we got some great sponsors we'll tell you more about. Now, tonight, normally there would be a post-game, Great American Sports post-game show, just like they sponsor the pregame, but won't be tonight. We'll go back our normal. We have one man usually receiving, two up in front of him. That'll be Jalen Mosley. Jack Collins will most of the time be to the right. And a little different from last year, uh, but Deli uh, Elijah DeMoss will be over on the far side in front of him. Nice kickoff. Will it reach the end zone? Jack Collins now fields it right at the four, and they'll bring it out to the 20 because this is a like a scrimmage game, even though we call it a jamboree. 103 left in the contest. 21-7, Jackson Christian leading. Want to say hi to all our fans in up in uh, the O'Bine area, also all our Jackson Christian fans. Now, after tonight, we'll have – the for sure, and we'll get the word out earlier, 731-437-6377. It's a text number. You can text us. Now, I've gotten a couple of texts, but don't send them to my phone. I get enough of those things, and um, folks have got to. And we appreciate it. You'll get to see Miles Vincent, the heir apparent, uh, if I, to take the place of five-star quarterback Ty Simpson in the second contest. First and 10 from the 20, the pitch. Here's DeMoss. DeMoss gets some tough yards, and then he is hit at about the 24, 24 and a half yard line. And that hit coming from number 21, Colton Rudd, who's a senior. And we're running our tempo offense. We're not set, though. And we got people scurrying to both sides. Austin Kelly in the backfield. Here's DeMoss again. DeMoss. Could he go? No. Two men are going to – one stood him up and one put the shoulder pad in him at the 42-yard line. But a nice first down for Jackson Christian. Got to get your mic up. There we go. Yeah, DeMoss had good speed there. He's got yeah. good breakaway speed too, so I want to see him break one away here. Looks like a strong young man. He'll be back next year because he's just yeah. an 11th grader. He's weighs 195. He's a quarterback as well, so – and we're going to keep it here at this one and remind you, please support the advertisers who make Worthy Road Studios TV show, ball game, blitz broadcast, the high quality they are. Without these advertisements, there'd be no crews to bring you these broadcasts. And we'll tell you about some more of those people. And uh, Shane Cisco has jumped in here and helped our director tonight, Ashley Janda, Stephanie Janda, replay operator and producer, of course, Scott Tinker and Brady Larkins have done an outstanding job. And did you hear that, Paul Schultze, on the camera work tonight? <laughs> and I have to deliver Paul messages. Ever. We have a lot of fun doing these games up here. Paul Schultze, our executive director. All of our ball game blitz TV shows are available to watch in high definition on Worthy Road Studios, YouTube. And we're ready to play first and 10 for the Eagles on the 42. 
Here's the pass outside. Jack tries to make one miss. He does. He's going to get to about three, maybe four tough yards. But uh, a lot of that was Jack Collins. Yeah, it's a nice footwork there by Jack Collins. A nice little throw over from Austin. And I think we picked up about four yards on that play. Absolutely. Here's the pass by Austin Kelly. Just oh. a little bit behind Blake Rowland. And uh, they'll work together a little more. And uh, my friends also don't remember that I have a football game going <laughs> on, trying to call in. Yes. And this is somebody that's watching us tonight. Yes. Bud well, that, Young. Yes, and that was uh, Austin just overthrew that play just a little bit there. Yeah. Blake has better speed than you think he yes. does. Blake Rowland is a tough nut. That may be why he's playing strong safety, too. Now, coming out wide here is number 22. That's Trent Carrier. And uh, – Peabody 13 to 7 over South Gibson in their jamboree as we come back to live action. We gained yardage, but they pushed us back, and we're going to have what, fourth and one? Looks like we are. Fourth and one. Oh, that's the ball game. That is the ball game. So Jackson Christian wins 21 to nothing in a very nice 21 contest. to 7. 21 to 7, you're right. That's why he's doing color. I can't see the scoreboard this year. No, for, you're fine. I think we're going to have to change seats. Uh, and this is a training session, too. So, uh, normally I sit where Shane's sitting. And um, that sportsmanship line, traditional, you see that right there. I think both teams, both coaches will look at the film. They saw some live things. They got to use a lot of players. If we didn't get somebody's name called, I apologize. And uh, I also, besides Peabody leading in their contest, Bud Young has just informed us that the transfer running back to Hardin County that had 22 or either 29 touchdowns up in Ohio has scored two 80-yard runs in oh, their, wow. their scrimmage game. Look at this. This is a great shot. Don't you like that shot? I love that shot. I get to see the players, the sportsmen there, shake hands. Good, good camera work there by Scott Tinker. National Federation can't bring you that shot. Absolutely. And neither can anybody else here in Madison County or this area bring you shots like you get with Worthy Road Studios. Paul Schultz and crew are to be commended for that. And Scott Tinker, Brady Larkins, and the rest of the staff, what shots they got us. And, of course, we have a scoreboard cam that you see on there. You can always see the scoreboard cam. And uh, it uh, tells us that, guess what, we've got to take a timeout. We're going to take a timeout, come back with the second half of this contest, but it won't be Jackson Christian O'Brien. It'll be the defending state champions Westview, and they will be going against the Humboldt Vikings, whose ship is sailing a little better than it has in past years. We'll get those two teams and their warm up, and Shane and I'll talk about a lot of stuff after this time out on Worthy Road Studios. Football looks fun. I bet I would have been great at it. The first football playing deer, they would have made a movie about me and everything probably get Kurt Russell to play me. But alas, me and my dreams run right over again. For fast, reliable collision repair, trust the experts at Mitchell's Body Shop and get back out there. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. At McCoy's Heating and Air, we realize there are more than enough things to worry about on a day-to-day -day basis. With our new 10-year all-inclusive package, your home comfort doesn't have to be one of them. For one low monthly payment, you can purchase a brand new York unit with full maintenance and repair coverage for 10 years with approved credit. No hassle, no stress, just complete coverage for your comfort and convenience. Contact McCoy's Heating and Air at 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com to schedule your free new AC estimate today. 
At Alive Hydration Drip Spa, we offer top-of-the-line IV nutritional therapy, which has a wide variety of health benefits. From immune system boosters and skin care, fatigue, energy, and even hangover relief, you can be sure we have an IV blend that's right for you. All of our blends are administered by one of our experienced nurses in a spa setting to ensure you leave feeling re-energized and refreshed. Give us a call or visit our website to book your appointment today. We have what it takes to make you feel alive again at Alive Hydration Drip Spa. Championship DNA. That's what you find in Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. A full line of new Chevrolets plus West Tennessee's largest used car inventory. State of the art service work and pre approved auto loans online at JonesChevroletHumboldt.com. Shop with a winner. Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Home furnishings, appliances, bedding, and so much more. Kaufman's at the Bypass and Oil Well Road in Jackson. Furnishings for every room in your home. Custom upholstery options, too. And our fully stocked warehouse helps prevent supply chain delays. Kaufman's, for your life. At Arrington Funeral Directors, we accept all prearranged funerals. So you may have prearranged your funeral in this town, with another funeral home, or even in another state. But we accept all prearranged funerals because we're here to serve families. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. At Lonnie Kyle Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on the engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Kyle Ford and Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. At Nest Realty Jackson, connections and relationships are at the heart of everything we do. We wake up every day with the goal of helping our agents build trust, relationships, and community. Let's connect. Tired of being seen and not heard? At Lifestyle Vision, we believe in patient-centered quality eye care for West Tennessee, which is why we are locally owned and operated. Come see us Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, or schedule an appointment anytime online. Lifestyle Vision, where compassion meets commitment. Serving the Jackson area for over 20 years. Carlock Automotive, Van Drive, Jackson. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Serving the Jackson area for over 20 years. Carlock Automotive, Van Drive, Jackson. Looking for a new and exciting career? At Jackson State Community College, we offer nationally recognized, top-rated programs designed to greenlight your career for success. With courses available in the health sciences, nursing, computer technology, and much more, your next step towards a career starts here at Jackson State. Learn how Jackson State Community College can greenlight your future at greenlightyourfuture.com. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. 
This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. He shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. And lucky for him, they made it look good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. At McCoy's Heating and Air, we realize there are more than enough things to worry about on a day-to-day -day basis. With our new 10-year all-inclusive package, your home comfort doesn't have to be one of them. For one low monthly payment, you can purchase a brand new York unit with full maintenance and repair coverage for 10 years with approved credit. No hassle, no stress, just complete coverage for your comfort and convenience. Contact McCoy's Heating and Air at 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com to schedule your free new AC estimate today. The most important benefit when you buy from Jones Chevrolet at Three Way? Peace of mind. Jones Chevrolet's warranty forever comes with every qualifying new and pre owned vehicle. Powertrain coverage for as long as you own your vehicle. Find out more at Jones Chevrolet in Three Way. Downtown is thriving, and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. If you work outside or in a facility with no AC, or you're just struggling with this year's heat wave, it can really take a toll on your body and health. At Live Hydration Drip Spa, we can help you recover with our Beat the Heat special for only $59. Call or visit us online today to set your appointment. This is how we Friday night. How do you Friday night? This is how we Friday night. This is how we Friday night. This is how we Friday night. No matter how you Friday night, you always win at Kaufman. We offer live webcasting for families. It kind of came out of when so many warriors were going overseas to war. We have learned to offer families more choices that we want to serve our families well and serve our families better. Championship DNA. That's what you find at Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. A full line of new Chevrolets plus West Tennessee's largest used car inventory. State of the art service work and pre approved auto loans online at JonesChevroletHumboldt.com. Shop with a winner. Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. At Alive Hydration Drip Spa, we offer top-of-the-line IV nutritional therapy, which has a wide variety of health benefits. From immune system boosters and skin care, fatigue, energy, and even hangover relief, you can be sure we have an IV blend that's right for you. All of our blends are administered by one of our experienced nurses in a spa setting to ensure you leave feeling re-energized and refreshed. Give us a call or visit our website to book your appointment today. We have what it takes to make you feel alive again at Alive Hydration Drip Spa. Home furnishings, appliances, bedding, and so much more. Kaufman's at the Bypass and Oil Well Road in Jackson. Furnishings for every room in your home. Custom upholstery options, too. And our fully stocked warehouse helps prevent supply chain delays. Kaufman's, for your life. The most important benefit when you buy from Jones Chevrolet at Three Way? Peace of mind. Jones Chevrolet's warranty forever comes with every qualifying new and pre-owned vehicle. Powertrain coverage for as long as you own your vehicle. Find out more at Jones Chevrolet in Three Way. At Arrington Funeral Directors, we accept all prearranged funerals. So you may have prearranged your funeral in this town, with another funeral home, or even in another state. But we accept all prearranged funerals because we're here to serve families. We realize you have a busy lifestyle. And at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, 
online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. This is how we Friday night. How do you Friday night? This is how we Friday night. This is how we Friday night. This is how we Friday night. No matter how you Friday night, you always win at Kaufman. Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online, we make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. We offer live webcasting for families. It kind of came out of when so many warriors were going overseas to war. We have learned to offer families more choices that we want to serve our families well and serve our families better. Home furnishings, appliances, bedding, and so much more. Kaufman's at the Bypass and Oil Well Road in Jackson. Furnishings for every room in your home. Custom upholstery options, too. And our fully stocked warehouse helps prevent supply chain delays. Kaufman's, for your life. At Lonnie Cobb Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on the engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Cobb Ford and Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. Looking for a new and exciting career? At Jackson State Community College, we offer nationally recognized, top-rated programs designed to greenlight your career for success. With courses available in the health sciences, nursing, computer technology, and much more, your next step towards a career starts here at Jackson State. Learn how Jackson State Community College can greenlight your future at greenlightyourfuture.com. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Serving the Jackson area for over 20 years. Carlock Automotive, Van Drive, Jackson. Serving the Jackson area for over 20 years. Carlock Automotive, Van Drive, Jackson. This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. Shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. And lucky for him, they made it look good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. And we are back here at Roddy Fowler Stadium. Good evening and welcome to the ball game blitz 
TV show produced by Worthy Road Studios on Jackson Christian's Facebook page. In the second contest, it'll be a half. It'll be the Humboldt Vikings kicking off against the defending state champion Westview Chargers. Minus Ty Simpson, a lot of people talk about that. A young, improving Humboldt squad, a squad that will win some ball games for Westview again and be a contender. Shane Cisco alongside him, and Shane, we're just about ready to kick off. Looking forward to seeing Humboldt. I know you are too, and I'm looking forward to seeing Westview in the replacement for Ty Simpson. Craig Ross will be doing that. Here's the kickoff. And they'll catch it and down it right at the 29 with his front foot on the 30. Let's see if they give him the spot to the 30. And Westview will be on offense first, first and 10. And, of course, if you don't know Shane, he's got a lot of football experience. He and I both are, I go at transplants from Northside, I guess, Shane. Yes, sir. And uh, Shane will be doing the replays for you. Let's see where they're going to plunk the football down. They still have not yeah, placed think, it. Yeah, not going to move them back to the 20, are they? I think they are. Oh, me. I guess for this jamboree, they're just starting at the 20. Since Maybe that's not alive. Well, I guess that's they're what not, they're, they're going to do. They're uh, live kickoff. So. I thought if the kickoff – now, that's one thing I liked last week up at Peabody. We worked that one is if the kickoff came down short of the 20, and you got it there. Yeah, it's going it's to be interesting to see Martin Westview. You know, Ty Simpson started quarterback there four years, and uh, now he's they got a new quarterback. And I'm going to make a little adjustment here. They can't see us. Sometimes they can see David and I in the box. But they come out with the football, and this will be uh, – Cam Davis should be in the backfield with him. And they fake to Davis. They throw the quick look in. And it's going to be a first down in the initial first down for Westview. Boy, they, Westview struck quick. Yeah, it's like the, they, they hadn't missed Ty yet. They just thrown on the first play there. I would have figured it had been a run. So that's uh, – Martin's a passing team there, and that was a good catch and a good uh, first down. They'll go trips left. We got three receivers, one of those being Omaron Harris. He's the closest. They fake, throw it across. It's tipped at the line of scrimmage, incomplete. A good job by the lineman there. And I'm going to tell you what, 77 for Humboldt is a good-sized young man. That is uh, Stephan, I believe that's the correct way to say it, Shivers, comes from the famous Shivers family. If you say athletes in Humboldt, the Shivers family is one of those groups. And he does have some colleges looking at him. Slots to each side. The ball is low and the quarterback just falls on it. Good job by Craig Ross. Now, Craig's a senior also. He wears number six. Don't know if he'll play any defense or not, but uh, he does play quarterback. And they have him listed as a corner, so we'll see if he gets in the game on defense or not. I think yeah. Ty played a little defense uh, too as well a couple years. So I think he played what, safety? Safety, yes. Yeah, I see Taylor Haskins over here. Now they're going to run a bunch. It's like trips with three receivers, but it is a bunch here to the left, single receiver to the right. Quarterback drops back, throws it across. And breaking a couple of tackles, it'll be short of a first down. And one of those slinging tackles, I like to call him. Omaron Harris, though, gets good yardage. He wears number 10. He is a senior for Westview. A lot of seniors on the Westview squad. Yeah, good pass by Ross, good catch by Harris. And he broke a tackle there. And number seven for uh, Agnew, Isaiah Agnew, made a the tackle there for Humboldt. Craig Ross brings his team up on fourth down. It's fourth and three, and they're going for it. Got a slot to each side. Humboldt with three down linemen, a stand-up defensive end, or some people call that a dog defender up there, the handoff. It'll be close. He spins, makes the first down, and that's what makes Cam Davis a good running back. He's a junior. And so yeah. the second first down. Yeah, number three, Cam Davis. Uh, we have Cam Boyd, number three for us, so that's going to be easy for us to remember there. But uh, Cam Davis have a nice little run there and picking up that first down. That time they ran away from Shivers. Let's see if they run at him. Shivers is a big man, number he 77. He is a big guy. I think he's the one who kicked the ball off, too. He was the kickoff man. Here's the snap to Ross. Ross looks. He's flushed out of the pocket. And getting back there very quickly was number seven on defense. And I'm going to tell you uh, Isaiah what. Isaiah Agnew. Yeah. So. So he got back there quick, and the pocket collapsed quick, and he made a good tackle there and good good yard for loss. Isaiah Agnew in there very quickly. 
Well, they lost 10 on that. That's going to bring up second in, what, at least 20, maybe closer to 21. They're going to say 20 on the scoreboard. Yeah, I think it's 21. I'm like you. Ross has a task. They're going to send to the left. Two receivers, two to the right, one man in the backfield, that being Cam Davis. Here's the snap, the handoff, Davis right up the middle, shot out of there like wow. a cannon, gets 10, 12, maybe 15 of the 20 back, maybe more than that. Wow. Yeah, it looked like he got about 16 back. Looked like it's going to be like second and four, or third and four, I guess. That's a very good offensive line, even with the loss on the play that they had the pass play. It's a good offensive line. You see on the replay here, oh, man, he had a good hole to run through. Missed tackle right there at the close to the line, but he tripped up, and that's a good recovery. They fake. The quarterback being flushed out of the pocket. Ross runs. He's got the first down and more, Ooh. but not much more because there's, again, Agnew, one of the crushing tacklers. Yeah, Agnew seems to be all over the field there. Another great tackle by Agnew, but they, he was barely able to get the first down, but he got the first down there, so good run by Ross. And, of course, uh, two good coaches here. Uh, obviously, you know about Jared Neal, what a job he has done. And, of course, up at Humboldt, a good job by Coach Pettigrew. How about George Yarber, their athletic director? No, George, personally, a great guy. Janice Epperson's their superintendent. Know a little more about, the, of course, uh, Randy Frazier's weekly counties. Superintendent, what a great guy. He was a great coach. Three down linemen, five of them are coming. A delayed blitz, and now they've got a receiver open. Wide open. Can they make connection? Oh. That was a misconnection. The receiver was looking for it to the inside of the field. It was thrown over his back shoulder. It wasn't a back shoulder throw. It was thrown over the back shoulder, trying to twist and come down with it. Nice effort. Nice throw, and we see that Craig Ross has a pretty strong arm. Yeah, he, is it the receiver there? It's Quin Quincy here. I'm sorry, uh, Quincy Hamilton there, and uh, just – couldn't make the connection there. Quincy a senior. And, of course, you'll be getting these great Mitchell's Body Shop replays. Now, they're just finishing up. They got the middle uh, or the JV part of it up at South Gibson. Here's Ross looking, looking, has the time. I don't know. Overthrew the defender. He got it but didn't get it close enough to number eight, Drew Shanklin, another senior wide out. And that's going to bring up third and a long 10 from the 42 of Jackson Christian. Cam Davis in the backfield. We see Omarion Harris, and I hope I get the young man's name right. Three receivers, trips right, single receiver. They give and running with the football with reckless oh, yeah. abandon. Oh, this goes. is Cam Davis. He could go all the way and does so. The tackle is too late. Give him six. Cam Davis just took it to the house, 42 yards. Yeah, that was a great run there. You know, right off the line, broke a couple tackles there, and he he uh, had some good step moves there to get around number five for Humboldt, and he was able to score a touchdown. Looked a lot like our Cam there. Yes, it did. And that happened at the 7.58 mark in the first quarter. On to attempt the extra point for them. Now, is this Jack Hayes Allen? Or is this? Number 16. Or no, this is Brian Navarrete, the kicker. Yes, I see now. And he also punts. His kick is up. The referees say no good. So it's six to nothing. Let's take a timeout here on Worthy Road Studios broadcast of the Jackson Christian Jamboree. At McCoy's Heating and Air, we realize there are more than enough things to worry about on a day-to-day -day basis. With our new 10-year all-inclusive package, your home comfort doesn't have to be one of them. For one low monthly payment, you can purchase a brand new York unit with full maintenance and repair coverage for 10 years with approved credit. No hassle, no stress, just complete coverage for your comfort and convenience. Contact McCoy's Heating and Air at 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com to schedule your free new AC estimate today. Championship DNA. That's what you find at Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. A full line of new Chevrolets plus West Tennessee's largest used car inventory. State of the art service work and pre approved auto loans online at joneschevroletumboldt.com. Shop with a winner. Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. 
If you work outside or in a facility with no AC, or you're just struggling with this year's heat wave, it can really take a toll on your body and health. At Live Hydration Drip Spa, we can help you recover with our Beat the Heat special for only $59. Call or visit us online today to set your appointment. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. We are back here, Shane Sisko, Coach Joe Holloway, Jackson Christian football from Ronnie Fowler Stadium. And, of course, we have other ball game blitz games going on on Worthy Road Studios. Uh, now, next week, David Wade will be back with us. Shane was kind enough to fit in, and I'm sure he'd like to see his son, Zach Moore. Here comes the Westview kickoff. It's going to be a short one. comes down about the 22, and that's, well, they'll probably move it back to the 20, but Humboldt. Fielded it on the run, and that was a nice running catch by Casey Curry, the quarterback. Don't forget to support our sponsors. And normally, we've had our Great American Sports pregame show. We'll have the Great American Sports postgame show on normal game nights. And don't forget to go by and see Ben and, and Wesley there at Great American, all their other fine replay. Thank Mitchell's Body Shop, who's a great Jackson Christian reporter. Here comes the Vikings. They have it first and ten. Casey Curry, their quarterback, Jeremiah Jones, number 23, is usually in the backfield. We'll check and see if he's there. Slots to both sides. Sprinting out is Casey Curry. He's going to run a keeper. The cornerback got good position. They'll throw the flag because there was a push in the back, and Shane will tell you about it on the replay. Oh. Yeah, we see there, man. He, uh, Man, they ran around the corner there, and – a little block in the back by uh, Humboldt, but uh, number 10 for Martin Westview uh, made a tackle there. Absolutely. And Humboldt usually runs with four wide outs. So let's see if Westview takes the penalty. They're yeah, talking I guess it they, over. Yeah, they did. They did call it. Most definitely a block in the back. And uh, Larry Lewis down there, the white hat, giving the signal. Does a good job. On the field. Larry's been in this a long time, and they do need some young officials. 7.46 to go in the first quarter play. And uh, we've got a clock down there. And there. Sometimes it'll, it'll fade a little bit right now. Next week, it won't fade any at all. You can see the countdown on it. Second, the $2 cab ride. The handoff. This is the good running back, and Westview's there to tackle him. But I'm going to tell you what now. Jeremiah Jones made a little hay while the sun was shining. He ran hard, and you'll have a Mitchell's replay. And we see a 4-3 see there. Yeah, he just ran around the corner there, and he picked up some good yards, and a host of uh, – Martin players tackling there. Four down linemen, two deep secondary. Got trips right. They're going to run the two-man screen out there, the quick screen. Nice throw and catch. They get it back to the original line of scrimmage. Yeah, number nine for Humboldt Justice uh, had a good catch there. And uh, I don't know, they just got a third down and got a couple yards there. Cadivius Justice with that catch, but it's third and about nine and a half. Westview will tighten down just a little bit, but they like that four-man front, the three linebackers, two corners, and two safeties. Now they run trips right, and they'll bring a safety over. Curry wants to keep it flushed out of the pocket. He's going to get hit, breaks a tackle, gets away, but he'll be short. He'll pick up tough two, but it'll be fourth down for the Humboldt Vikings. Man, he fought hard there to get those yards. I thought he was going to be tackled for a loss, and he kept fighting and, and gained three or four yards. And again, we'll remind you, Coach Joe Holloway, and tonight Shane Sisko, David Wade will be back. Ashley Janda and Stephanie Janda are a replay operator and producer. Two of the best cameramen around, Scott Tinker and Brady Larkins on the camera. And looks like Humboldt is going for it on fourth and about six, maybe five. It's closer to five. Now it looks like they're punting. Oh, now they go back and they're punting. They run a spread punt formation. Nice spiraling punt. punt. Not a bad punt at all. And uh, not bad at all. It'll hit down 
and they'll place the ball somewhere around the 35-yard line. Let's see which side of it they put it on. Okay, they're going to put it down to the 33. They say that's where it went out of bounds. Westview scored their first time with the football. Cam Davis took it to the house for 42 yards. The PAT was no good. It's six to nothing here at the 5:30 mark. Any trends or anything you see out of both these teams, Shane? Well, it looks like uh, you know both of them are uh, defenses are, are holding up, and uh, uh, the offenses need to get going a little bit. Well, Martin had that one good drive, so we'll see what they can do on this one. Um, Martin's passing the ball good. I, I was kind of surprised. They've had some good passes as well. Yeah, don't forget to check the Thompson Smith scoreboard out. That's Thompson Smith Insurance. Roger Smith played a little. Yeah, little I've known football here. Mr. Roger Smith my whole life. He's a good guy. Corner logo sponsors, you see them, but we'll come to first and 10 on the 33. Their own 33. The Westview Chargers have it with a man in motion. The jet sweep is coming to the left. Oh, wow. Go across the 40. Across the 45, pulling people with him, spinning, trying to get to the 50 and run out of bounds. Looks like right at the 50-yard line and a very fine run after contact. Quincy Hamilton, the senior. Yeah, Chrissy Hamilton there. We kept fighting all the way through and had a nice little run and uh, good first down for, for Martin. Yeah, Quincy Hamilton gets their first down. I think that's their third first down of the night. I could be off a little bit, but sounds about right. Pretty good, Quincy. Very good run. Here's the, again the jet sweep again, headed to his left. Gets past the first down marker. Gets five, six, maybe seven yards. Nice run by Drew Shanklin, who is also a senior wideout. Yeah, Drew Shanklin there on the wrap around did really good there and picked up positive yards and um, not. I guess, was that a first down? It says first down. Should second be second down. down. Yeah, this hadn't changed it yet. New electronic. Oh, there we go. New electronic down okay. marker over there. I like, I like that. It. What happens if somebody wipes it out? Is the <laughs> old one still here? You know, somebody could hit it. Yeah, it, it, I'm sure it is. So, Second and four, ball on the 44 of Humboldt. They fake, throw across the middle, and oh, this wow. one's going all the way. You will not catch that young man. Shot out of a cannon was Omarion Harris, the senior. And that one's going to go 40 yards. That was absolutely a great 44. pass by Harris and uh, a great uh, catch by uh, – uh, who got that number? Well, that 10. was Ross to Harris. Yeah, Harris. And a good touchdown for Martin Westview. And they go up 12 to nothing with an extra point coming on. Let's see. Will they, well, they won't go for two because we're kicking everything. And I'm not sure if I've got the young man's name right, but Brian Navarrete. It could be Navarrete. Uh he is a junior kicker and punter. Good, strong leg. He kicked it a long way while ago, and that, that one, one looks good. The referee says, you're right, Coach. It's 13 to nothing with Westview in the lead at the 459 mark in the first quarter of the second half of the Jamboree. Let's take a timeout on Worthy Road Studios Ball Game Blitz Game of the Week. The most important benefit when you buy from Jones Chevrolet at Three Way? Peace of mind. Jones Chevrolet's warranty forever comes with every qualifying new and pre owned vehicle. Powertrain coverage for as long as you own your vehicle. Find out more at Jones Chevrolet in Three Way. the fourth annual Lifeline Car Giveaway. And Joe Mahan Ford is proud to donate a car again this year. Give blood with Lifeline between Memorial Day and Labor Day for a chance to win a 2019 Ford EcoSport. Join Lifeline. And Joe Mahan Ford and give blood this summer. After a great 44-yard pass play, Ross to Harris, Westview kicks off Humboldt ready to receive. Of course, we're not returning them, but this is good practice for the young men from both sides. Coach Joe Holloway along with Shane Sisko. David Wade will be back in next week. Here's the kickoff. End over end, coming down short at about the 15 no, 20. And, again, that looked like Casey, the quarterback, picking that one up. He does a good job. Uh, he's got good speed if he ever gets out in the open. It's Casey Curry. Where's number 11? Humboldt moved it some, but a big penalty hurt him a while ago, Shane. Absolutely. That block in the back did and kind of set them back. And let's see if they can kind of improve on this drive here. 
Looks I, like, like some of Westview's kids, like Quincy Hamilton and Cam Harris, are going, or Cam uh, Davis, I meant, going uh, both ways. Let's check and see if, if Ross is out there. I don't think he is. I do not see him out. Okay. Humboldt's got two wideouts to each side, which means they're in a slot. We'll check the receivers. Casey Curry, your quarterback. Usually Jeremiah Jones is back there with him. It's a version of the jet sweep. Running with it is number nine, Justice. He'll have a gain of, what, two, maybe three yards. Depends on the spot. It yeah, looks about like three. Three and bring up second and seven. That was a good little jet sweep there for Humboldt. I mean, Humboldt's got, got the players. they got the speed. Just yep. put it together here and get them a good drive. Trips right. Three receivers, that means, to the right. Moore being one of them. Justice, I think, one of them. I cannot see the jersey on the other. And, again, your quarterback is Casey Curry. And the horn blows. Start. The yellow flag comes out. Yep, false and, start. Yeah, false start. They'll move it back five, so it'll make it. Second and 12 if the ball is spotted correctly. And, again, penalties are kind of hurting Humboldt here to get a drive going. Yeah, they had a nice gain there on first down. That was not a bad gain of three, but they had a really good series except for the penalty put them well, out of contention. That's why you play these games. That's what we keep talking about. You play these games to, yeah. to try to not have these penalties next week. Oh, to get a lot better. And uh, the uh, on defense, keep an eye on 77, Stefan uh, Shivers. He uh, – uh, he's a pretty good athlete, just like this entire Shivers family has been. Four down linemen is all that rushed. The linebackers close on the running play and pushing the running back back. The holes were closed. They filled those gaps pretty good then, and that was Jeremiah Jones, the fine running back from Humboldt that had good numbers last year. That's a good run. Had a good little hole there. And then uh, number 36 for Martin, uh, well, I guess it's 38, uh, McDaniel had a good tackle there. And I said Jeremiah had a uh, – he's listed as ninth grader. They have a running back that had a good year. and Maybe I have him mixed, mixed up, but great job. Well, you can come up, though, as an eighth grader. Yes, you can. And it's all in one building now at Humboldt. Uh oh, the football loose. They stripped his yeah, arm. Martin got it back. Dan Curry and Martin may have it. Yep, they do. Number 64 for Martin. Uh, Davey Richardson recovered that ball. The offensive lineman. Davey, a good sized young man, and he just he fell on. He stripped it. Yep. Too. He stripped it and recovered it. Yep. Humboldt still good looking for their initial Richardson. first down, but you won't play many teams tougher than the Westview Chargers. First and ten in. Humboldt territory for the Chargers, who've had some great programs, great linemen that came out of there, like Justin Harrell and Chad Clifton. They were Mr. Footballs at their position, just like their quarterback Simpson was last year. Simpson down at the University of Alabama. In the spread with three receivers to the left, one to the right. Five-man rush. They're going to throw... The route into the end zone, Ooh. and I'm going to tell you what, it took a good tackle that time wow. by number two, and I'll have to look his number up. That was Malik Wade, who plays defensive back. Malik Wade, I didn't have him on my initial starter. But, Wade, that was good coverage because I thought it was going to be complete. I, I did, too. Uh, I'm trying to see the number for Martin. I think number 11, I believe. Uh, no, it's not number 11. Maybe that was Hamilton. Yeah, it probably Hamilton. was 17. Yeah, Quincy Hamilton. Yeah, in. Quincy. And uh, he got up and got up there, and he kind of come back limping back to the line a little bit. So I hope he's okay. Yeah, that was hard hit. See Harris changing position. He's going to go across the middle, but there's the look in, and that one just in and out of the hands of the wide out Taylor Haskins. That'll bring up third and ten. They can get a first down at the eight yard line. They being Martin Westview. Going against the Humboldt Vikings. Vikings defense really got a hold here because they're already down two scores. Absolutely. And uh, number uh, eight for Martin, uh, Drew Shanklin, he uh, he just uh, coming across the middle sometimes. you gotta got to hold on that ball when anticipating getting hit. Shanklin and Haskins closest to us, but it's a running play to Cam Davis. Davis heads for the sideline, gets a nice gain, maybe seven. We'll see where he actually went out. 
and uh, but a nice run, but that'll bring up fourth down, and we'll see what yardage it is on fourth down. Looks like Humboldt's got somebody shaking up on the play. You don't want to see Number any seven, of these fine young men shaking yeah, up. Yeah, you know, that's Isaiah Agnew. Uh, hopefully he's okay. And Agnew a big hitter for them. He's got to come out. And uh, don't want him hurt. No, not at all. He's on defense. He's been all over the field, so. He really has. It's fourth and four. They can get a first down. They're going to get one because unless one of the Westview no, linemen not, moved, uh, no, Humboldt think, got into the neutral zone. Oh, no, yeah, it's on Humboldt here, offsides on Humboldt. David Wade it's always broken. taught me to make sure that somebody didn't move on the offense to draw them off, but that one was pretty clear, wasn't it, Shane? Yes, it was. It was, and uh, that's a free first down for uh, Martin Westview. Not what you want to do with this uh, offense of Martin Westview. Now it looks like Harris will be to the left side unless they change the play here. Haskins will be over here. And Shanklin should be here. So three receivers to the left. That would put Quincy Hamilton by himself, and he's got some good jumping ability too. Here's the snap to Ross. Ross looks, checks it out, throwing to the deep part of the end zone. And looked like it went out of the end zone incomplete. You could see a replay yeah, here. Yeah, pass intended for Harris there. And looked like it may have been just a little bit overthrown to him. But he had him open. And these games give the coaches before their first real game a chance to go back and do some work. Iron out the things. We'll take a look at pass coverage a little bit if we're Humboldt. Man coverage, and that's what you get them in when you got – Trips left, one receiver to the right. Ross hands off. Here's Cam Davis. He yeah, may he's walking in. Oh, a yeah, good hit, down. but he I spun off of it and got in. You got to lock up, put him down. Do they give him the six or did his no, knee touch? They got they, the knee touch at the one, so he's going to be down. But a great run by Cam Davis and uh, keep driving that ball all the way to the end zone. Uh, they are tough. Now it was second and seven or second and goal for the seven. I don't know. Yeah, his now knee was it, down. Yeah, it I was. That's why we have the replays up See, here. I don't you love those things, Shane? Absolutely. I thought it was a touchdown. It no, is third goal down. from the one. Here's the snap. They're going to give Davis. He's going to try the left side. Good body lean. Did you see him keep yes. the legs pumping and the body lean? Check it out on the replay. Touchdown, Westview. Yeah, he absolutely did. He kept that legs up. Uh, pushing, and he got right in, leaned the body in, like you said, and got the touchdown. And Martin Westview goes up 19 to nothing in the second quarter here. Davis, a one-yard run. On two, on two. Extra point, Navarrete will be out there to attempt it. The snap, they get it up, the kick. The goalpost disappeared, so it should be good, and it is. It is 20 to nothing, and this all happening in the first quarter. We're going to take a timeout on the Ball Game Blitz and Worthy Road Studios Jamboree coverage. Downtown is thriving, and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. This is how we Friday night. How do you Friday night? This is how we Friday night. This is how we Friday night. This is how we Friday night. No matter how you Friday night, you always win at Kaufman. For anyone contemplating pre-planning, we can tell you from our experience, it's much easier to make funeral plans and record them now than wait until emotions are running at their highest. With pre-planning, you can free your mind and heart from having to make big decisions during a time of grief and instead enjoy the freedom to focus on the memories of a life well lived. Back here for the 216 mark of the first quarter, Westview leading. 20 to nothing over Humboldt. Humboldt giving it all they got. Westview's got another solid team. And remember, they are the defending state champions. Well-coached ball club by Jared O'Neill. Or Neal, I'm sorry. I'm so used to O'Neill Henley, but Jared Neal. Here's a nice kickoff coming down a little short. And there's Casey Curry again. I like Casey Curry's speed. If they ever get him into the open, 
He could run all day. Absolutely. And Martin's uh, played very well, you know, losing a big quarterback like Ty Simpson. And, and the way they played tonight, looks like they've kind of reloaded a little bit. Oh, I think Craig Gross is to be commended for his throws. Now, with the Westview's got a lot of people going two ways, or at least the skilled people going two ways. Uh, yeah. 10, 17, I see somebody I haven't seen, and maybe he's been out there, but Cody Meeks. Wearing number two is out there playing corner right now. Yeah, they did that last year, too. They had people playing both ways as well. So, First and ten for the Vikings on their own 20. Ball in the center of the field, equal distance from the sideline. Slots to each side, two receivers, in other words, to each side. Here's Curry. They're going to run the jet sweep. And, oh, ooh, that time uh, with a pretty good hit on Eli Moore. Yeah, number 35, Hayden Smith, put a very good uh, hit on Moore there on that run and kind of stopped him, and he wasn't able to get any farther. Looks like that's going to bring up second and 10. No gain yeah, on no the play. Gain at all. Will they get it off? Yes, uh, well, we've got a 150 left here in the contest. It's 849. Do you know where your parents are? <laughs> oh, I'm serious for the teenagers out there. Keep up with those parents. They get lost. You see four down linemen for Westview. Running a two deep safety, strong safety, walked up a little bit. Curry wants to take off, but the pocket collapsed. And, and nice number 35 play. again for Martin Westview on the tackle for a loss, Hayden Smith. Yeah, it looks like Christian Ingram also got in there with an assist. He fell back in quite well. And uh, – See number two getting some words of wisdom from his defensive coach over here. That's Cody Meeks in there again. Looks like Hamilton playing one of the safeties, and I want to say the other one is Shanklin, two seniors, so they know what they're doing. Casey Curry throws the long one up, and that time the receiver's route, not uh, any type of foul, but it was impeded. By the defensive back being in good position, it was intended for Kendrick Taylor Jr. wearing number one. I've got fourth down and 12, Shane. Yep, the fourth down looks like they're going for it. No, they're running the punter on right now, so they are going to punt. Well, that's what kind of faked me off. Curry will leave the field, and uh, they lined up tight and then shifted. Still 22 seconds on the play clock, so no chance of a penalty. 49.9 seconds to go in the first quarter play with Westview leading. Don't forget about Aloha Pools, Southeastern Termite and Pest Control, Elite Dental, McCoy's Heating and Air. There's the snap, the kick. See if it turns over. It does. It'll bounce. Good little bounce there. And uh, do they place it where it hit or where it landed? A while ago, they placed it where it I guess they're, they're placing it where he first hit. No. Yeah, well, they're, they're going to send him after it, and they're going to mark it and say it is first down at the 43-yard line of Humboldt for Westview. And here comes the rest of the Westview offense. The Humboldt defense comes on, and again, watch the the big man. 77, that's Shivers. And like I said, he does have some colleges looking for him. The pregame show, we told you about some of the players for both of these teams also. This is bonus coverage from Worthy Road Studios. Jet sweep coming. Harris cuts it up, coming to the left. There's oh, wow. a flag down, and here's a tackle out of bounds. But I think it's going to come back, Shane. Yeah, I think it is, too. Harris had a good run there and, and maybe a little hold as well to help him get that run. Let's see here on the replay if we can see it. Yep, uh, number 51 was held up on that. So, yeah, the ball is coming back. And uh, those are one of the things, and we'll go back and look at it. I'm sure that play will be replayed. And the coaches all, each one, have access to film. They can go home and watch. You know, it's a lot different than when you had to watch the old 16-millimeter projection and stuff the uh, people don't realize the kodak analyst projector and it had the stop and go button right and you really couldn't stop you <laughs> just had to keep pumping it to keep it in one place now you can freeze them you can blow it up there's all kinds of stuff you can do huddle has it where it can be cut into segments it can be sent out 
to colleges that want to scout a particular athlete. That brings up first and about 25. Here's the snap given to Cam Davis, who's still in there at running back. He's going to get good yardage. And Shane, I'm going to get you to help me check. That looks like Miles Vincent in there at quarterback. And they may have changed on me earlier because yeah, the way he's here. got his yeah, jersey folded up, yep, it looked like five. six a while yep. ago. Yep, number five, Miles Vincent's the quarterback now. And he's the one they talked about with all the yardage stuff. And if I misidentified anybody, it was unintentional. That should be the end of the first quarter with it 20 to nothing in favor of the Westview Chargers over Humboldt. Let's take a timeout on the Worthy Road Studios Football Network. We realize you have a busy lifestyle. And at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online, we make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. At Nest Realty Jackson, connections and relationships are at the heart of everything we do. We wake up every day with the goal of helping our agents build trust, relationships, and community. Let's connect. Lifestyle Vision, located at Thompson Farms, offers patient-centered, comprehensive eye exams. Select your new look with our latest styles from exclusive brands. Come see us Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, or schedule an appointment anytime online. Lifestyle Vision, where compassion meets commitment. Looking for a new and exciting career? At Jackson State Community College, we offer nationally recognized, top-rated programs designed to greenlight your career for success. With courses available in the health sciences, nursing, computer technology, and much more, your next step towards a career starts here at Jackson State. Learn how Jackson State Community College can greenlight your future at greenlightyourfuture.com. And we come back with it adjusted second and 15 now for Westview. Trips right. They give to Cam Davis. He comes up the middle with it, breaks a tackle, shoots uh, into the secondary. Oh, Football loose picked up by Humboldt very quickly by number four there. And that is Nicholas Bingham with a big fumble recovery. And the Vikings take over first and ten. Absolutely. Davis just ran through the hole, and he got uh, – He's had the ball too far out there. He wasn't securing the football, yeah. Coach. Yeah, got to keep it up against that body in that case where where you carry it. Uh, what's the proverbial word? Like a loaf of bread. Like a loaf of bread. And he's a good back. He'll not do that again tonight. But if you're going to do it, this is the game to do it in. So. Yes. These games are good for practice stuff. We'll remind you that Snookums down in Chester County, man, have they got some good food. Go down there to Snookums. Take advantage of what they can do for you food-wise and – Go to their website, Lifestyle Vision, Nest Realty, also sponsoring Lonnie Cobb Ford, King Jewelers, our good friend Grover there at King Jewelers. And, of course, Bank of Jackson, Arrington Funeral Home, Kaufman's Furniture. First and ten for the Vikings at their own 33-yard line. Two receivers, that's a slot to each side. They hand off to the running back, trying the left side. He gets across the 35 Slips but maintains his balance with then number 33 for Westview, and that being Demarion Pearson. Kind of stood him up, but a nice run by Jeremiah Jones. Yeah, Jeremiah Jones had a nice run there, had a good cut, and then had a you know, made almost like another hold there, but um, good tackle by number 33 for Martin Westview. Second and a long three or short, a very short four, but it's second down for the Vikings. Wide side of the field to the right where they have three wide receivers. Curry, your quarterback in the backfield going against the four-man front. They give again to the running back. This time short gain, but good second effort that time by J. 
Jeremiah Jones gets him a couple of tough yards, but I think it'll be short of the first down, or will they have it? Yeah, it looks short of the first down, and uh, number 33, uh, Pearson for uh, Martin Westview, a good stop there. Keep on from getting the – no, I was right. They're right going to move it. Well uh, – It must be the angle we're looking at. So. It, it is, and uh, it sounds crazy to blame. I'm used to looking at it from where you're sitting. And, uh, of course, Dave Wade – from here, I, we just let Eagle Eye. I don't even spot him during the game. <laughs> Eagle Eye Wade will be in the press box with us at North Point. We got to go down to Mississippi to play a supposed Tennessee team. And they used to be in Tennessee under a different name. And the school moved. It's a very nice facility. Now they brought everybody, yeah, both linebackers got, coming. Yeah. And they said, let's all meet at the running back, a convention. Big Shiver says enough. Yeah, he never had really had anything going there. And yeah. Martin Westview, and they stacked the box there, and they were able to get yeah. the stop easy. And Humboldt did get their initial first down on that last one. And it's going to be a timeout called by the Humboldt Vikings. They take a timeout trailing 20 to nothing. We're going to take a timeout with them on the Worthy Road Football Network. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. We are back, Shane Cisco, Coach Joe Holloway, having a lot of fun. Miss our comrade David Wade, but we may have to get us three headsets and be like Dandy Don, Meredith, <laughs> Howard Cosell, and there you go. I forgot who even did the play-by-play -play with them because Howard and Dandy Don were the ones. Frank Gifford was doing play-by-play. -play Maybe I got a sideline for you. So. Hey, you'd be great at that. So. Well, did you see our sideline camera tonight? That's right. Look at that shot we got right now, Shane. Best shot in the area. No Absolutely. About it. See the four down lineman. The linebacker cheated up. Let's see if he's coming. It's second down and about 13. Here's the running play again. Uh oh, it's dropped the handkerchief. That usually gets holding. Yeah, number 77, the official pointed at him, so he must have held or did something there. Let's see what he did. So it'll be third down or either be second down if they take the penalty. Yeah, 77 held up there, and that's what he called. That's why he has such a good hold there. Be a 10-yard penalty? Yes, no, maybe. From the spot of the foul. Now, remember, folks, this is from the spot of the foul. You know, there used to be a running back, and I can't think of his first name, Shivers at – Humboldt, and he could cow trump well, when he, he ran He's only the a 10th grader, too. Yeah, so. he's just and he's got colleges looking yeah, at him. He's a big, big kid there, and uh, that's what you want on the offensive line. So now they're going to re spot the thing. They, they declined it. Did they decline it? Well, we'll see. They did decline it. That's interesting. I think Westview has that I, much confidence in their defense. Well, it's third and 21, so I guess they didn't want to replay second down. So, that, that's well, why. Actually, it will wind no. up being about third and okay, yeah, that's right. 11. I don't know about that. Well, first of all, I think it was more like third and 14. Or it should be third and 14, but I'm not going to criticize. But it is a long third down. It's 11 yards goal ball on the 42-yard line of Humboldt. They come out with three receivers. Here comes everybody but the kitchen sink, and oh. it forces the quarterback to hurry. And if he hadn't, I'm not so sure there wouldn't have been a collision of gigantic proportions out there. If he had Bingham. If he just he just overthrew Bingham just a little bit there, and Bingham had a clear line of sight and could have got some, could probably, probably could have got the first down there. He could have because Bingham is quicker than a hiccup. And that's going to bring up fourth and 11. I see Curry going out, so that means they're going to – Punt the football. Or was that fourth down? We, uh, there is mass confusion. I think you got one more play. You can punt it. No, they're punting it. 
Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll say that. Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah, now. they are. It's uh, it's interesting. And Shane, can you pick up his number? Is that number three punting? Yes, I that's so. uh, Jaquari yes. McCurry. Yeah, it's number three. McCurry gets a nice high one off, takes a good Humboldt bounce, and out of bounds. And the young man got good hang time on that one. Twenty to nothing. Westview leads 9.55 to go in the second quarter, and we play two quarters in Jamboree football. Jamboree's all over down at Hardin County, and I'll tell you about a young man there. Um, my wife was letting me know that she is at the Civic Center for a bicentennial <laughs> program. Bud well, Young right. uh, sent us this. Jacob Saunders, sophomore running back, has two 80-yard runs tonight in the half a play, three carries for 207 yards and two touchdowns. Pretty good night's work. Absolutely. Hardin County was leading, and we we're waiting for a final, but uh, South Gibson may have come back. Now, Peabody was leading 14-13 at one point. Chargers on offense. Here's the handoff to Hamilton trying the left side of that line. He's going to get several yards to the left. Now, Shane, check the number. That is six I've got in there at quarterback that this time, six. right? That is six. That is correct. Okay. Because they've had six and five both in there. Now, five is the young man the newspaper will give the Jackson Sun credit. Wrote a lot about Miles Vincent, who's a junior. Craig Ross is a senior, so they've got two good quarterbacks. They, they do. Absolutely, they do. So, Here's a nice both. running play. And, you know, that's got to be Cam Davis. I it didn't is. even have to see the number. No, that's Cam Davis. A nice little run for Cam Davis to get the first down. And, Shane, if you get a chance, give those linemen credit uh, there. They did a good job. They they got – if they show replay, they blew them off the line of scrimmage. Watch this replay. The Westview coming to line quickly so well. we won't get the replay. Westview can move it up there. They've got a slot to each side. Looks like Harris in the slot to this side, but they're going to run the running play. They fake the little one-man screen out some, here. Yeah, number number 77, um, Sam Gilmore, and uh, had a good push there. And then number 52 for Martin Westview, Kristen Ingram. So, And, you know, for our line at Jackson Christian, I, and I, this is my fault, I forgot to tell you, Dave Wade always gives – Credit when those kids fire out like that and get yardage. Dave is very good at it. That's my fault for not telling you he does that. Dropping back as Ross wants to crank the javelin up, looking down the field Whoa. and makes the catch. What a catch by Hamilton right there. That young man is a very good athlete. Quincy Hamilton, the senior wide out, and that's another first down for the Chargers. They move that football up and down the field. They did a good, a good pass and good catch and a good game. Uh, for Martin Westview. 8 6 and counting. I can remember in the old days, and Don Cody took a team, finished runner-up in the state, but they didn't play this wide open when Don no. was there. Don did a great job, so don't sell him short. That was a good pass by Ross, though. Coach Neal there now doing a great job, has a state championship. Here's the running play, Cam Davis. Davis. Yep. Will he take it to the house? The answer is yes. Touchdown, he, Cam Davis and Westview. He wasn't even touched on that play, Coach. He ran all the way in, had a good opening on the line again. And Martin Westview, they don't have the weights on their line. I like to see how heavy their line is. But they got some big old boys on that line. They do. I wish we'd had the weights and stuff. That helps so much. Navarrete on to attempt the extra point. And it looks like his holder is number nine, Taylor Haskins. And the Taylor is a senior this year. They got a lot of senior leadership this year. Will they make another run? Here's the snap. The kick is up. The officials look it over, and they say it is good. It is 27 to nothing. We'll take a timeout on Worthy Road and ball game blitz football coverage here at Jackson Christian School. <laughs> Serving the Jackson area for over 20 years. Carlock Automotive, Van Drive, Jackson.
serving the Jackson area for over 20 years. Carlock Automotive and Drive, Jackson. Football looks fun. I bet I would have been great at it. The first football playing deer, they would have made a movie about me and everything. Probably get Kurt Russell to play me. But alas, me and my dreams run right over again. For fast, reliable collision repair, trust the experts at Mitchell's Body Shop. And get back out there. And we are back here, Shane Sisko, Coach Joe Holloway, at Ronnie Fowler Stadium on the beautiful campus of Jackson Christian School. Got two fine teams here. The more experienced are the Westview Chargers, Humboldt Vikings, though. I have seen strides they have made over the last couple of years. They made the playoffs last year, looking to extend that. Of course, the defending state champions in their classification are the Westview Chargers, Navarrete, to uh, kick off, 7.35 left in this contest, 27 nothing. your score. Humboldt will receive. Let's see. Curry has fielded most of them, and he comes up again. That is a quick young man. All Humboldt wants to do is get him turned running east and west on this field. Now, they say north and south in football terms, but this field does run east to west. If you've never been here, is a, at the back of the campus. It's a beautiful setting. Got a hill right behind us. Uh, great AstroTurf field. We've got grass out there when you enter the stadium. And uh, matter of fact, the stadium entrance was uh, renovated and made a whole lot better in honor of a young man that passed away that played football. Yeah. And uh, you can tell the fans more about that than I can. And, and I think the school did a good job of honoring him. Absolutely. That was Ryder Lewis, and they did a good job. And the 14 yard lines have a little blue mark around it as honoring him as well because he was number 14. So, absolutely. And uh, we know that most of the people left watching and stuff are from Westview or from Humboldt. You can watch this game on YouTube. Worthy Road has its own YouTube channel. You don't have to be signed up. Just get in there and you can watch it. This is nice. Well, they start out a nice run and give Westview credit for closing the hole pretty they quickly. They sure did. They sure did. You know, I was thinking about not, you know, the kickoffs and, you know, with the speed of Humboldt, you know, what what the difference of the game would be starting on the 20 compared to the 50 for Humboldt. You know yeah. what I mean? And, and that would help. Uh, speed being part of their game. Young man going off the field for them, number 70. And uh, that was David Jeter. Still on one. And we're checking our lineup. Looks like. Is that Curry still in at quarterback? We'll check. Yes, he is. Yep, Hand off correct. trying the right side. But I'll tell you what, the right side of that – or actually it's the left side of the defensive line, pretty tough for Westview. And they're bringing in some new young men. Looks like uh, Jaden Kearney is coming in. He is a senior. Coming out, yeah, Davey man. Richardson. Westview just had the, the box stacked there, and they were able to stop him at the line. Yeah. Marshall Fant also in there, sophomore, wears 23. He's got one of the two wide outs. Looks like man coverage here. With one deep. There's different terms for that. We're all going to meet at the quarterback. Curry did the best he could scrambling to get out of there and may even pick up a couple of tough yards. Yeah, number 43, Jaden Jones, had to stop there for, for Martin Westview. Should bring up fourth down. It'll be about eight. The ball is going to be on the 22-yard line. They're saying fourth and nine. I'm going to say fourth and eight. Uh, the half yards in statistics make a difference. It's a punting situation here. Let's see if Humboldt, of course, Humboldt doesn't change, and they show you, but if you see Curry go out, you know that they're going to punt the football. Yeah, it's kind of confusing every time, but, yeah, once he runs out, you know they are, so. And in to punt, wearing number three is Jaquari McCurry, who is also a quarterback now, but you're not going to play a nice high punt. He gets good height on his punts. Yeah, he, he has a good, decent hang time there, yep. and looks like they're going to spot at the 49. Yep, hit there at the 49, bounced away. Want to thank the officials. And, folks, these officials, uh, I don't know whether they're getting paid anything or not to do the game, If even if they are. Thank them for being out here. It's uh, – being an official is a thankless job. The TWSAA and the local associations need all the officials they can get, and these men 
were kind enough, whether it be assigned or whatever their situation are, to be here tonight. And uh, they've got parts of two crews, Larry Lewis wearing the white hat in the lead. And uh, it's it's been a good night. It sure has. Good night for football. Of course, the turf makes it a little bit hotter, so I don't know how it is out there, but it's it's been a been we cool in here. We got a little AC going. Yep, it and it helps. Westview will come out first and ten. The ball on their own forty. They'll go with three receivers, meaning trips to the right. One single receiver to the left. They're gonna run the running play, and this time good penetration. And we need to pick up that young man's number right there. Wow, fifty-one yes. Isaiah Crawford in there like a shot. Mitchell's replay coming up, Chain. Absolutely, and let's see who – let's see the stop there. It's a great stop running through. Oh, yeah, he got back there. Absolutely, number 51 for, for Humboldt. He was back there quick. Well, he was. Uh, he looked like he'd been shot out of a cannon then. <laughs> Quarterback looks like Ross still in there. We'll check the running back. I don't think that's Cam Davis. It might be. We'll no, check it was not see. Cam Davis, number yeah, two. No, we'll – Cody Meeks. Cody Meeks in there. Cody makes one tackler miss, but then two got him. And replay. You're going to have a replay on that one. So, Cody yeah. Meeks handling the tailback spot now. Cody Meeks takes it there. Number 51 almost. He got past number 51. That's time they had a good stop the last time. And then looks like number Ready on two. 22, is that what it is? Made the tackle for Humboldt. He made the tackle. Jace Beard kind of turned him in. Three down linemen, a stand-up defensive end. Here comes one of the linebackers for Humboldt. Pass gets off, and I'm going to tell you what, well played by that defensive back as he played through the open arm of it, and that yeah, being Malik number Wade. two. Yeah. Malik Wade has had a good contest tonight playing outside he there. He got corner. there and broke up that pass, and and uh, now it's fourth down. Let's see what Martin Westview decides to do here. Westview will no. punt it away. And here comes the punt coverage team on they get used to at least shuffling out there onto the field and let's see looks like number 15 is going to handle the punting chore 16 which was Navarrete this is Jack Hayes Allen and uh, again I haven't got my phone on my main phone turned off uh, we'll have a number and we're going to get it out early to you can text us during the regular season broadcast each week Who's the punter there? I can't get uh, it. That is, I believe, Jack Hayes Allen. This one, knuckleball oh, yeah, fielded no, right punt. there by number four for Humboldt being Nicholas Bingham. You know, Nicholas had that big fumble recovery a while ago. He sure did, and that was a decent punt by uh, Jack Hayes Allen. We got 344 left in this contest. The... Cam Davis opened the scoring in the first quarter on a 42-yard run. Then a Marion Harris 44-yard pass play in the first quarter. And it was 13-0 at that point. The first extra point was missed. Second one was hit. Then Cam Davis with 210 in the first quarter, make it 20 to nothing. And then in the second quarter at 735 mark, we had the other touchdown of 15 yards by Davis. Some old football, though. On their own 29-yard line, first and 10. And, again, they like to run the, I call them double slots. There's two receivers to each side. And Curry's still in there at quarterback. Yep. Curry log logs a lot of time in there. He's quick. He can break it. He kept it. Yeah, look, he he looked like the artful Dodger then. And uh, there's going to be a flag. I'm not sure what it's for, but nice run by Curry. He looked, reminded yeah. me of Condridge yeah. Holloway a little bit. Cam Davis had to stop there. Let's try to see if we can see what the flag's for. Probably a hold, but we'll see here. Um, uh, I'm not really number 77. They might. I don't know who they got on that. On well, it's going to be a mark off against Humboldt. I think Humboldt. I don't know. Has Martin Westy had a penalty on the night? I know Humboldt's had a lot. I think they may have had one. No, not keeping my stat book. I feel. I feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> Don't forget Snookums, Aloha Pool, Southeastern Termite and Pest Control, Elite Dental, McCoy's Heating and Air, Hub City Deli, 
a live hydration and spa, lifeline, blood services, just some of the people. Please tell them you appreciate them bringing these games. Man coverage out here on both sides with a one deep secondary. Different schools call that different things. Here's dancing, and this time they had all the holes covered up and came in there very quickly. And Martin Westview all night tonight has been all on top of that, and this, this play is no different from that, and got it stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Who made the stop there? Yeah, number 43 and 61 for Martin Westview, Jaden Jones and uh, Red Herrick Hayes. They got second and 14 up there. Ball on the 25. Still in the backfield, Jeremiah Jones wearing 23. Humboldt's got some very young players, but some promising players out there. This time they the play, uh, they kind of misread it, and yeah, Curry makes what he good. It was supposed yeah. to be a pitch sweep yes. right. Curry was fixing the pitch, and there was nobody there to pitch it to. So he made the best of that, and he looked like he had about a yard or two on that. So uh, could could have been a lost work if he went ahead and pitched it. Yeah, a good decision there at that point not to pitch the football. And sometimes that's like if the guy goes the wrong way, you go ahead and run into the hole that the linemen were trying to as a quarterback to keep. Curry's got his forces huddled up. They get to play from the sideline on third and 11 from their own 28. Looks like Kendrick Taylor is coming here to the left along with Eli Moore. Fourth down, they're going for it. Fourth and 11 at the 205 mark. And now they, they got an illegal procedure or, or movement. Which one? Motion? I did not. Uh, well, I guess it depends on how you define it is what it will be. I'll start, yeah. That may change what Humboldt decided to do. Now, look, they're going for it anyway. I don't blame them here at this point. With two minutes left to go in a jamboree, give your offense a chance to make a big fourth down play here. Still got some people in the end zone down there. Of course, the camera is always set up down there. Teams like that end zone camera now. Here's the jet sweep to the left. Running hard, but going to be short of a first down was uh, Jeremiah Ing, or Inge. And, again, we didn't get a chance to get pronunciations checked like we usually do. And the ball should go over on downs to Westview. Yeah. Good tackle there, yep. Has uh, Humboldt thrown the ball tonight? You know, without my book, I couldn't tell you. I, I, don't, I, I know don't. Curry Maybe has once. dropped back, and it may be one on there. Well, they're actually saying this is fourth down. So we had something wrong. So now they're punting it. Okay. Yeah, they are going to punt now. And then, okay. S sometimes even the electronic down <laughs> marker can be wrong. Oh, this one. He had his foot pointed up. And you know from having a son that's a punter, he got a good yeah. roll. Oh, man, it kind of turned in. It yeah. became better. But, enough, but you have to get that foot out like this. He had his turned up and the toe was sure back did. towards. And that's something the coaches will pick up on there. Westview will take over with a minute six left in this contest. They are leading 27 to nothing. We'll have a probably short post-game Great American Sports post-game show, but – Pre-game and post-game brought to you by Great American Sports. Your replay sponsor tonight is Mitchell's Body Shop, and they had to fix my car one time. We had a uh, uh, situation to tell you about it because they did a great job of straightening a giant mess out. Had an illegal alien that wasn't supposed to be here, no green card, no nothing. Um, he was, uh, let's just say he had taken adult beverages past the point of return, yeah, we, and he cremated with three hits into my car. Mitchell's made it look like it would never been hit. Absolutely. And Will had the same thing happen to him in Florence. Somebody backed in his car at Walmart parking lot, and Mitchell's took care of that as well. So They can do it. Here's the Westview Chargers with about a minute and six left on the clock. It's rested. Have a slot to each side. Humboldt's got three down line, but they're looking for another player because they're supposed to have three down linemen and one stand-up defensive end. 
this will be pure man coverage here unless somebody drops to play the one up or the one back and actually be a one safety. What do they what do they call here? I, I, That's a good question. I didn't see Westview, the signal. So I don't know. Well, now we know for sure oh, Martin Westview has a delay a game. Yeah, the clock Martin, Martin was waiting on their player to get in, and they should have snapped the football. So, Same play, same formation. First and 15 on the 37. Balls on the ground and falling on it wisely is the running back. And a good job by Cody Meeks. Yeah, Jack Hayes Allen's in at quarterback now for Martin. Yeah, and that's a good thing, Jack Hayes. And uh, probably somebody's T-shirt got – pull sometimes those half skinners and stuff like that tear when you're wearing them yeah, it's been out there for a little bit i was hoping they get it off the field yeah that would be a good thing ready for second down and 18 here's the running play and makes got time the linebacker is that 58 yeah, 58 curry he uh had a good hit there and that's some people i like to say that britain curry bit him like a vampire then when he and he didn't really bite him folks that's the way the hit was very impactful hit don't forget our corner logo sponsors and good sponsors that are Jackson Christian yep. School, Dynamics Physical Therapy, Jones Chevrolet, Blacksmith Restaurant, Thompson Smith Scoreboards. And uh, don't forget, this game is time runs down 3 2 1. Shane Sorry told you it was over all but the shouting. 27 0 is the final score. Westview winning. And Jackson Christian won the previous contest. They won that one 21 7. And. Uh, both games were good. Uh, all four teams got a good workout tonight. They learned the things they need to work on. They saw some things that they did well, and the coaches get to evaluate. We're going to come back after a timeout on Worthy Road Studios with Shane's final comments, mine, and a little recap of this on the Great American Post Game Show. But let's take a timeout on Worthy Road Studios coverage of high school football tonight. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. At McCoy's Heating and Air, we realize there are more than enough things to worry about on a day-to-day -day basis. With our new 10-year all-inclusive package, your home comfort doesn't have to be one of them. For one low monthly payment, you can purchase a brand new York unit with full maintenance and repair coverage for 10 years with approved credit. No hassle, no stress, just complete coverage for your comfort and convenience. Contact McCoy's Heating and Air at 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com to schedule your free new AC estimate today. At Alive Hydration Drip Spa, we offer top-of-the-line IV nutritional therapy, which has a wide variety of health benefits. From immune system boosters and skin care, fatigue, energy, and even hangover relief, you can be sure we have an IV blend that's right for you. All of our blends are administered by one of our experienced nurses in a spa setting to ensure you leave feeling re-energized and refreshed. Give us a call or visit our website to book your appointment today. We have what it takes to make you feel alive again at Alive Hydration Drip Spa. Welcome back to the post-game show. Coach Joe Holloway and Shane Sisko on the Great American Sports post-game show. Brought to you by the Ball Game Blitz TV show produced by Worthy Road Studios. And it was on Jackson Christian's Facebook page. It will be archived, these uh, two contests or two halves. And all of you Westview, Humboldt, the O'Bine fans, the Jackson Christian fans, y'all will be able to go back and see these archived on Worthy Road Studios uh, page on YouTube. Sometimes I just punch in there Jackson Christian versus yep. and put the date in there and it takes me right, right to it. You can it. do it that way. And we are so thankful to the administrations of all of these schools. The coaches were very good about getting us rosters. Two of them were even kind enough to provide starting lineups for us, which helped a whole lot. The uh, announcers, obviously, I have a little advantage and Shane does. We know the Jackson Christian kids. I've seen some of them were wearing – most of them wearing the same numbers they did before. Seems a little – you know, you don't see Walker Ray's four out there or you don't see Tacker <laughs> Nash's uh, 58. Right. Uh, we saw it out there, but it's on different young people in right. different positions. And 
Uh, I think all the schools had some good scrimmages, great sportsmanship, and uh, it, it was a great night for football. Shane, your your thoughts about both contests tonight? I thought uh, for Jackson Christian, I, I saw some stuff I liked. I saw some stuff we need to work on. That's why we played these things, but I thought we played well. O'Bine did some things as well, and I thought really Humboldt tonight, if the penalties, if they can work on those, um, I think they'll improve. And then, of course, Martin Westview, I mean, losing a big quarterback, Ty Simpson, I, I, I was kind of impressed with them tonight on some of their plays that they did. So I think it's a good opportunity for all these teams to go back next week to coaches and, and see what they need to work on and get ready for week zero or week one next week. And Well, the KWSAA calls it week zero. Yes. <laughs> uh, we won't talk about that too I'm much. I'm excited about going to North Point and, and seeing what we can do there and seeing what kind of season we can get out of it. I would be more excited if North Point was coming here. Now, I would be too. I, I'm excited about the game. Don't get me yes. wrong, fans. But uh, I like to – first of all, I like to stay in Tennessee. And you do have to cross over the line <laughs> yes. a little bit. Say so, they're good people down at North Point, And uh, uh, I have coached against them in the past with a different name on that school. Though. Yes. And uh, we, Seabass and I have been down there for some uh, basketball games. Yep. And it's kind of like in, when they had the spring fling in Memphis. The Tennessee State Softball Championship was decided in Mississippi. Right. Something is not right about that. Yeah, that, and, no. that is a little different. Well, that's okay. That, I took it back to them a few years later. That's right. Uh, when I was coaching at Smithville, we were playing the, for the softball state tournament single A title. I wore my TWSAA championship <laughs> cap. It was the same color of our school, but I wore it in Mississippi. There you go. And it, there, it was done for a purpose. I saw I'm like Shane did. I saw some good things, and I saw some things that coaches will want to work on. Next week, we'll have the stat book back with us. And this was a, we had some young people training and a lot of good things. And, you know, like I said, great sponsors like Great American Sports, Mitchell's, Jackson State Community College, Dynamics Physical Therapy, Jones Chevrolet, Blacksmith Restaurant, Aloha Pools, Snookums, Southeastern Termite Pest Control, Elite Dental, McCoy's Heating and Air, Hub City, uh, Delhi and a, a live hydration and spa. You need to try that, Shane. Yes. Lifeline Blood Services, Kaufman's Furniture, Arrington Funeral Directors, Bank of Jackson, King Jewelers, Lonnie Cobb, Snookums, uh, Nest Realty, and Lifestyle Vision. And and what a night! It was a good night. If you weren't here, uh, you should have been. Absolutely. And if you were here, go back and watch the replay. I know the youngsters will watch it tonight. But next week, Jackson Christian football. Don't forget about Tuesday night, 7 o'clock, Hub City Deli. Oh, yeah. And we've got, we're going to have more than just football there that night. A lot of great things happening. But, you know, here at Jackson Christian, and Coach Bullard, we love you, but we've got to know the name of a show. Coach Bull is right, we written, the, I, I we got call it right him here that. if I can He's find got it. it. Hold on. We love Coach Brian Bullard. Death. Brian could easily give up being a play-by-play -play guy. I mean, a coach and be a play-by-play -play guy. He is he is a great young man, enthusiastic. Coach Darby Palmer, and I want to hear from uh, uh, Darby's parents next week, and we'll give you those text numbers again, and we'll have the text line at the Hub City Deli. Uh, I guess I lost it. I had. Well, it. it's okay. We're gonna get the word out to you. You'll be getting but something from the school about it too. Yeah, absolutely. And Jennifer Wheeler is gonna be on from softball, so she'll be on the show Tuesday night. So. Oh, and we had a good run to the softball state tournament last year. And for you Humboldt fans and uh, Westview fans, your both your teams acquitted themselves well. There's improvement to be had. There's some things they did good. And uh, the uh, game, uh, the reason I hesitated, I had somebody put a hat on my head, which was nice of them, and I thank them. But uh, Coach, unfortunately, Coach I, get in, I get in one of those grooves. Yes, yes. And, uh, Coach Key brought you some nice yeah. uh, stuff there. Yeah, he so. did, and I yeah. need to thank him for that. And uh, the uh, a lot of good things happened tonight. We're not going to recap the scoring and uh, – Hopefully, I mentioned Thompson and Smith Insurance. They were not only a sponsor, but they sponsored the scoreboard. They're going above and beyond the, Absolutely. the call of duty. And uh, uh, go by and please tell all these people you appreciate them. And I'm going to be honest with you, there are great companies on here that you need to be supporting. And if you're not, something's wrong. Absolutely. Uh, I'm serious. Shane, last comment. Ready for next week. Ready for week zero. And I'm going to ask if we – do we have our normal – screenshot with everybody's name on it or did I just need to try to 
Nope. Okay, okay. we don't. Because this was a practice night, so folks, uh, don't don't get on anybody because we got a lot of good people. Let's start with the cameras. First of all, Scott Tinker, and we're glad to have Scott and Brady Larkins with us. They did a great job tonight. Now, I'm not going to tell you which one is which. You get to figure that out one night, I will. But Ashley Janda and Stephanie Janda is our replay operator and producers. The executive director is Paul Schultze. Now, your announcers who were uh, compensated – by the hamburger Shane got us and all this, and actually Paul Schultz, he signs the checks and stuff. But the announcers were color. Shane Cisco sitting in for Dave Wade, and you're welcome to come back anytime. Your son Enjoy is it. your son is even more welcome to come Absolutely. back. And you know why. Tonight. Yes, well, good. he and I have a, a rhythm too. David Wade, probably one of the greatest color men for high school sports and especially football in the country, ex-official, ex-coach himself. A lot yes. of people don't know that Dave used yes, to coach absolutely. quite a bit. And he worked with Ken Netherland's program over at Germantown. Dave will be sitting in with us. And, of course, your play-by-play -play man and humbly to get to do Jackson Christian sports. Uh, Jackson Christian people are great people. You get out and support them. And, of course, we appreciate the four fine schools that were here tonight, their administrators, their coaches. And thank you, the listeners. And any rebroadcast, retransmission, editing, or further use of this ball game blitz TV show without the written consent, and that's the expressed written consent, of Worthy Road Studios is strictly prohibited. It's time to say thanks for your time this time till next time. Good night, all.